Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. 8.19 a.m. Good morning, Boo. Boo was on free roam all night. I don't know where he was, but he just came and woke me up. Hi, Boo. Boo is getting his standard breakfast. It's primal raw chicken and salmon nugget and a quarter cup of the nature's variety chicken bites and some cat grass and some water. Boo ate all of his dinner last night. Hi, Boo. A little scratch on your arch. Here. Would you like to be brushed a little bit? Look at this. He's being brushed and he's brushing himself at the same time. What a shiny, happy boy he is. Whoops, whoops. He's like, don't stop. Don't stop brushing me. Brush your tummy. Boo says, I want to make sure I look good for Stella. Is he going to eat his food? Good morning. Good morning. Right there. Right there, Mel. You guys want to say hello to Boo? Okay, the downstairs cats are getting the same thing that Boo is getting. Now, I don't know what's going on with Splashy. I don't know if it's that... Um, pet remedy stuff that's like in the diffuser upstairs. I don't know if some of it is leaking down here or in the um, in the uh, central air system or what, but Splash let me pet him today like more than ever. I've never petted Splash so much in the morning before he ate before and like he's just being really friendlier. So this is good. Right Splash? Right Splash? Hello Splash. Gonna eat? Are you gonna eat with everybody, Splash? Yep, okay. I think this is a first. All three cats in the window at the same time. It's like a cat party. And this is right near that pet remedy diffuser. Could it be having a relaxing effect on the cats already? Stella's looking pretty relaxed. So is Splash and Simba.
they hear Boo at his door. So the cats were all seeming very calm and interested in Boo, so I decided to put the gates on his door and um, just take this toy out. They don't seem to be very food motivated around him, but I took the toy out because I said, well, maybe they would want to come investigate. Here's Simba. And there's Boo in the toy. Simba in the toy. Boo in the toy. Simba in the toy. Boo in the toy. Now I really don't have the time to be doing this today. Um, I need to get myself back onto my work schedule. But it just seemed like a good opportunity. Boo doesn't seem to be too disturbed by Simba, and Simba's just sitting there watching him. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna try something. Stella's watching from the end of the hall. Even Splash is watching. Okay, there was like a little smack, and then Simba hissed. I think Boo wanted to play with him, but Simba is not ready for that. Simba might have saw it as a threat.
Someone's growling, I don't know who it was. Oh, Stella broke it. This is Hydrox's food today. He is getting more of the Thanksgiving dinner canned food. I had a few extra cans of that and he's getting some fresh water. I don't see any dry food in the feeder, so I'm wondering if there's something wrong with it. And there's Hydrox stunning himself. He's hanging out in a warm spot near the house. Now if you ask me, I think the birds are eating the dry food. I just put a little bit of dry food in the bowl for Hydrox. Look at all of this bird crap. Mother and son on scratch and rolls. I'm trying to clean up this wrapping paper from the other day and they're like all getting excited, like getting ready to play. This evening, Boo and I have a hot date. I'll be driving in my car and Boo will be traveling in this carrier and we're going to the kitty cat health club and we're going to meet up with our friends there and Boo is going to have some procedures done. They're going to retest him for feline leukemia and FIV and then we're going to come home and we're going to have a very comfortable evening. Maybe we'll watch some bird and squirrel videos on TV and chill out. Hopefully Boo will have a really good time and enjoy himself. I just sprayed some of this Pet Remedy Natural De-Stress and Calming Spray in his carrier to make it a more comfortable ride for him. Okay guys, Boo's in the carrier. I don't know if you could see him because he's dark. And we're just about to leave for the kitty cat club. Gonna go on our hot date tonight and let's Keep our fingers crossed, think positive, and hope he makes it there without busting out of his carrier. This is the new carrier. It's pretty sturdy. That's okay, we're gonna go, boo. Look, he's gonna hurt himself. Okay, here's boo. He's in his carrier in the car. We're just about to leave, and I just wanted to tell you what you missed. So I got Boo into his carrier very easily. I just picked him up and put him in the top of it and there was no problems there. It was a little awkward because he was fighting me a little, but um, there was no problems getting him in. Then once he was in, I put the towel on him and then I moved the carrier toward the back door. So I moved it to the kitchen. And once the carrier was in the kitchen, I said, let me go put my purse in the car. And that way I could use two hands to carry the carrier out. So. I went out to the car and then I came back in and I picked up the carrier and I opened the door to go outside and Stella was standing on the other side of the door because it's the door between the upstairs and the downstairs. I had to turn the car on right now because the automatic light went off. So anyway, so Stella is standing there like on the other side of the door. So I said, okay, I'm just gonna put the crate down, take the towel off and see what Stella does. Maybe they'll smell each other. Well, Stella goes right up to the crate. She starts hissing like crazy. She starts growling. I've never heard Stella make those noises that she was making. And she basically went to strike the front of the carrier with her paw. Like she went to strike out at it. And I was like, Stella, be a good girl. So then she didn't strike out, but she stood there like literally face to face with Boo. And she just was up all in his business. And she was hissing and hissing and hissing. And then when she stopped hissing, she was just growling and growling and growling. She was so not happy. So I got a bag of treats and I said, Stella, you want a treat? And I put a treat on the ground and she contemplated eating the treat, but then she was like, no, cause she didn't want to take her eyes off of Boo. So I put a treat in with Boo. Like I dropped it into the top of the carrier and Boo ate it, no problem. So like Boo was kind of like relaxed at the time. He was just kind of trying to ignore Stella and Stella was just like, oh my gosh, she was like furious. I just kept envisioning her with like, with like curlers in her hair and a robe and a frying pan. Like, you good for nothing, you left me with these kids. Um, it was kind of funny at the time, but um, I really wish I had a camera on it. 
um, but the cameras were all in the car already. So right now, um, I'm gonna head off on my hot date with Boo and we're gonna head over to the Kitty Cat Club. We should be there in a little while. It is now like an hour and a half later. We just got out of the Kitty Cat Club and I just want to document what went on before I forget. So Boo pooped in his carrier again. Um, but he was very, very calm. Like, the people that worked here pretty much expected him to be um, just very feral like he was last time. He was the exact opposite. Um, so I took him into the little vet's room and they had no problem lifting him out of the carrier, holding him. Um, he did not need to be sedated. He was super calm, like ridiculously calm. They took the blood test, they clipped his nails and um, everything went well and uh, they cleaned out the carrier. I don't know if it's the pet remedy spray that I put in there or what, but Pooh was super, super chill um, from the moment he got into the vet's office. And I was honestly shocked at how uh, calm he was in the vet's office. Um, so that's that. The second thing is I was talking to um, the vet and the assistant about um, the TNR database and getting more information and she confirmed to me um, that there's definitely no way to look up information on a cat um, that cats are just kept by numbers and um, normally they're not given FIV vaccines um, they're just given distemper rabies um, and they're treated for worms or fleas and uh, that's it I told her um, what animal control told me that if like a private person had trapped him and brought him in and requested um, the additional FIV vaccine, um, then um, would something like that be done? And she said, yes, that would be the case. But if that was the case, there would be no way to get those records because the cat would go on record as belonging to that person because that's the person who brought it in and something about like legally, they can't give out those records. Um, so I thought that was really weird. Then I talked to the vet about the possibility of like, like what about a TNR database? Like what about having an international TNR database that tracks all of the cats and keeps records of all the cats and gives all the cats a certain code and that code would be then like tattooed uh, onto the cat. And she thought it was a really interesting idea. And uh, the more we talked about it, the more she liked it because she says they get so many cats brought in there. She says it would be great if they were able to like look up the history of the cat. Um, and right now there's no way at all for anyone to look up the history of any of these cats. It's good to know that some other people think a database could be a good idea. And um, it's good to have Boo finally retested. Now, the feline leukemia test, they said should come back in a day or two, and then the western blot um, would take, she says, about a week. I'm bringing Boo in from the car, and Hydrox is on the patio. When I was driving down the road, he was like three houses away, and uh, I guess he ran here. There's Hydrox under the table. I just gave him some dry food. I put a scoop of dry food in his heated bowl. He could see Boo. He sees Boo in the carrier. Right now, he sees Boo in the carrier. I'm giving Boo a plate of crunchies with some freeze-dried raw food because the frozen raw food is not fully defrosted yet, so he likes this much better anyway. I also have these well and good deodorizing wipes for cats because he did have some poop on him, so. I don't want to get poop all over the room, so hopefully we can wipe off whatever's on him. All right, let's take him out. You're home, boo. You're home, boo. Is he going to hide? No, he's hiding under the bed. I think it's around 11.30 right now. I don't actually know what time it is. And, um, Boo is on free room tonight. And right now he's laying on the bed. He was a really, really good boy, um, at the vet. And actually, even during the car ride home, he was a really good boy. During the car ride to the vet, 
he did quite a bit of meowing and howling and trying to get out of the carrier. But right now he's very happy to be home. And uh, he's very happy to be relaxing on the bed. Tonight is supposed to be Stella, Simba, and Splash's night for free roam. But since Boo went to the vet today, he's going to get a special free roam night. Bed, boo. Time for bed. Okay, time for bed. Hydrox and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. It is 8.12 a.m. Good morning, Boo. Boo slept on the bed all night. Right, Boo? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Eight twenty-three a.m. 
I forgot to defrost raw food for the cats, which is pretty surprising because I really thought I did. But I guess with uh, everything that was going on last night, I didn't. So today they're going to have their canned tuna. Good morning. Hi, Stella. Hello, Stella. Let's go get your canned food. We're going to have tuna. Hey, Splash. Gonna have tuna today. Yeah, tuna. They love that self groomer. Boo is getting a plate full of juicy tuna. It's the Trader Joe's tuna for cat. I also add additional water because I just find it to be quite dry. 8.53 a.m. Today it's the two brothers in the window. Today I came downstairs so Stella could smell my legs. I just got out of the shower. I use my frankincense and myrrh soap. And Stella loves it. She's been licking my legs and my feet. I set up the mouse again today. I rolled up the rug a little bit. Is someone gonna play? I don't see Boo inside. Boo looks like he's sleeping under the love seat. I mean the bed. I hear Boo. Oh, maybe Boo is in the cat tree. Simba wants to play with it. I think they're all a little traumatized after what Stella did yesterday. The way she hissed and growled at Boo. I mean, that was like serious off the hook hissing and growling. There's Boo, he's not far from the mouse inside. I'm gonna put this on random because that's what they seem to like the best. Okay, right now they're getting treats. The mouse toy is still on. Boo's been eating treats right here. Simba has been eating treats right here. Stella is standing at the end of the hall watching because you know she wants treats. Okay, right now I'm at this gate and I have the undercover mouse shut off, but I have this other toy that I know is Stella's favorite toy. And this is also one of Boo's favorite toys. And I'm playing like under this like skirt and he loves it. And Stella is watching from like four feet away. Like I'm waiting for her to pounce on it also like any minute now. Oh, Simba's gonna come look.
Now, when they all lived outside together, they hunted together because their survival depended on it. Like, I would always see Stella and Boo out just roaming around looking for food, obviously. And once the kittens were around, I always saw Boo in the little, I don't know if you call it like a den or a nest, but where Stella kept the kittens, Boo would always be like sitting there guarding them. So, I just feel like if they're going to get along and be brought together, it's going to be through play and like hunting things versus, you know, eating on other sides of the door. That just has not been working for them at all. Who just retreated under the daybed? Simba stuck his nose under the gate and he was smelling into the room. Then he was growling. Simba, that's your father. That's your daddy. Don't growl at your daddy. Don't growl at your daddy, Simba. Simba, that's your daddy. Come on, boo, let's play. Come on, boo, let's play. Stella has uh, now jumped onto the top of the cat tower. She's looking out the front window. She's lost interest in Boo. Who's on free room right now? I'm playing with him. That's a cupcake wrapper. It has not been used. What you doing, boo? Pretty boy? Boo, are you a good boy?
he puts his tail in the circuit like that and then it blocks the ball from going around. It is about 10.30 p.m. Stella is laying in her plastic bed. And now that I put the camera on, she's going to get up. I don't know why she does that. Simba is laying on top of the cat tower. Hey, Simba. Hey, Simba. And there's Splash on the ottoman. Look how comfy he looks. Splash looks so comfortable. Hydrox and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Simba. Good morning, Stella. It's 8.53 a.m. I'm getting a little bit of a late start today. Who wants to eat? Do you want to eat Splash? Are you hungry? So they go from rubbing the self groomer on this side to rubbing this thing. Okay, now Sim is chewing it. <laughs> and Tyler. They love that self groomer. Right? You hungry? Okay. Good morning, boo. He's watching the toy under the door. Did you say hello to me? Did you say hello? Say hello. You said hello, boo? Hello. Say hello. He ate all of his dinner. Right now it's about 10.30 a.m. It is an absolutely beautiful day. Right now it's about 50 degrees. So this is like warm compared to how it's been um, for the past few weeks. And um, there's no food here and there's very little water. So I am giving Hydrax some food. Today he's getting this Frisky's Cat Concoctions Pate, scrumptious salmon and chicken liver dinner because I'm all out of the uh, better food. Um, but this is fine, I mean, the other cats ate friskies uh, for quite a while when they were living outside. So there's his food. There is no dry food in the feeder. And there's Hydrox hanging out in the sun by the patio. Hydrox, you're a good boy, right? Are you a good boy, Hydrox? Yeah, you're a good boy. What you doing today? Just hanging out? Just gonna hang out in the sun? Okay. Okay, so I just opened the feeder and it does not appear to be jammed. There are no error messages on it and it has plenty of food in it. So to me, it looks like that the birds are eating food. So it's being dispensed in the morning and then the birds are flocking onto it and eating it. I mean, look at all that bird poop. Okay guys, you just missed it. So I go in the garage and I'm looking for something to kind of cover um, 
where the birds access the dry food feeder. And I come out and I left like the half can here with the pitcher of water on the step because I was going to bring it in. And Hijox is here, like my camera was right next to that can, and he was eating out of the can. And I was like, Hijox, why don't you just eat out of the feeder? So I moved the bowl out of the feeder and I put it here. Here. Right here. I just put the food here, closer to where he likes to stay, and there he is right now. So right now, I'm only like four feet away from him. He's not running, so that's good. So right here is an experimental cover. Um, it's just a piece of extra insulation that I had lying in the garage. And I could not find my other duct tape, so I'm using this bright blue tape. And I just taped it up here so the birds cannot access it from above. Now, obviously, they could still access it from under the table. And what I don't like about this is that I can't easily see into the bowl to see if there's any food there. So the birds would have to come down here and, like, go in this way. Which they probably would because they're smart, but it's just a temporary solution. Let's see if it works at all. Okay, here's Hydrox's food. I'm gonna give him the rest of the can because he seems to be hungry. There's still food here, but I'm still gonna give him more food. I put Hydrox's bowl back in the kitty cafe then I came inside and Hydrox just walked across the patio and he's eating more food. Now since it is a beautiful day and it's nice and it's warm and it's sunny and I see the thermometer heading towards 60, I need to roll up that rug because as the weather gets colder, um, if we get snow, and if I need to use a snow blower on the patio, that rug has to come up. So I need to uh, hopefully deal with that today. It is about 5 p.m. and I just called the vet to find out the test results from Boo's feline leukemia test the other day, and the test results came back negative. So that is awesome. Uh, they're still waiting on test results on the Western blot for the FIV. They said that could take about a week. So we know that his previous FIV test was positive. Um, so we're doing the Western blot just to get um, another confirmation on that. Okay, so this is my Arlo Pro security cameras. I have an Arlo security camera two of the Arlo Pro security cameras, and three of the Arlo Q security cameras. The Arlo Q cameras are indoor cameras. They don't need batteries. Um, they hook up uh, via wire to an outlet. The Arlo Pro cameras have rechargeable batteries, and then the plain Arlo has the replaceable batteries. You have to keep buying batteries and replacing them. So I had purchased... Um, two of these cameras from Best Buy last year. They came with a base station, so it was two cameras and a base station. It was like a package deal. And a few months ago, um, I had to replace one of the cameras because one of the cameras was bad, but they were still under their one-year warranty, so the company sent me a replacement camera. Now, this camera has not been working for weeks now, and today I finally carved out time to deal with uh, technical support. They don't allow you to call them up unless it's within 90 days of when you purchase a camera. Then they'll give you free phone support. Anything after 90 days, they want to charge you a fee for phone support. So I did the live chat um, support online and they walk you through troubleshooting and it ends up that this piece, which is the battery for the camera, is actually what is bad. It's not the camera on this one, it's actually the battery for this one. So they told me they will be sending me a replacement battery and obviously I don't have to send this back because it doesn't work. So at least they're sending me a free replacement battery for this one. Um, and these are the cameras that I do use to keep an eye on the cats with. So um, yeah, I got that done today. Splash, would you like to eat some food? Splash, would you like to eat? Are you hungry?
eating. You know, it's really funny because I was actually going to um, get rid of this thing. I don't even know what to call it. And um, ever since I put it here, they love it. So now I'm stuck with it. Okay, so this is what I have going on today. I've moved the gates to the door between the upstairs and the downstairs. So I put the bottom gate on and then there's um, a space of a few inches and then there's the top gate. And I'm thinking I wanna move the top gate down a little bit even though there's only a space of a few inches. I think um, some of the cats could wiggle their way through there. So I'm gonna move that top gate down. Right now, oh, look at this. Boo is smelling and Simba's smelling. Look at this. Look, they're smelling each other. You're not jumping, Boo. Nope, don't even think of jumping. That went well. There wasn't any hissing or anything. Simba, you're not jumping. I mean, they can um, interact with each other more now that we know Boo does not test positive for feline leukemia. So what that means is I am going to, um, look at this, he's going to want to jump. What are you doing? Simba, don't jump, not yet. I'm wondering if I should buy a third gate. That way I could just totally gate up the door and even if they climb the gates they're not going to get over the gate. I do have to go return something to Home Depot and that's where I got the narrow gate from. Sim is just looking at him. Is anybody else right there? Hello! Hello! I just, I don't need drama tonight. I'd rather this continue to be a gradual thing. I don't want to just throw the cats together. They're eating treats near each other. So far they're just looking at each other. There hasn't been any hissing or growling or anything, so. Maybe it's because we're on different territory here. It is 9.30 p.m. I just got back from running some errands. There's Simba on the other side of the gate. This is the door between the upstairs and the downstairs, and there's Boo. So far, they've been getting along very well on both sides of this gate. There's not been any hissing. There's not been any growling. It's been pretty good so far. So now this is the gate that I had. This is a tall gate. I don't know how tall this is. It's like a 36 inch gate. And then this is the other gate that I had. This is from the Home Depot. This is a 24 inch high gate. So I had the two of these gates and I put them on top of each other, but these cats can climb. I know they can easily get over those gates. So I went to Home Depot today to try to buy another one of these gates. They're like $14.99 at Home Depot. And um, they were sold out. So I went to another Home Depot to see if they had one and they were closed and there were fire trucks there and I don't know what was going on um, but the signs on the door says closed until further notice so then I remembered that there's another Home Depot so I went there and they were sold out also 
So I ended up going to Target. And I got this gate at Target. It was also $14.99. Um, Quality-wise, it's a lot cheaper than the one from Home Depot. Like, the one from Home Depot is sturdier, but it serves its purpose. So this entire doorway now is one big gate. So this is good. Right now, I feel pretty confident that if the cats try to climb this, that they're not going to get over it. I just think they're in pretty securely. So I could just let them um, smell each other and um, interact between these gates and leave the doors open and see what happens. Right now I just gave Boo a treat. And I gave Simba a treat, but he's not eating his treat. But I'm hoping that by giving him treats, maybe the other cats will come up. Like maybe Stella will come up. I want to see what Stella does. There's Stella. She's sitting in her plastic bed and she has a bird's eye view of what's going on here. Stella, you want treats? Come on up, we're having treats. Come on, we're having treats. Okay, so far they're both eating treats right next to the gate and there has not been any problems. And Boo has not attacked me for treats. I mean, I'm still being quick and cautious with Boo because he does like to scratch for treats, but it's been pretty good so far. There's Splash. Do you guys see Splash? He's only like three steps away. Hey, Splash! Want some treats? Would you like some treats, Splash? I... Who's looking at Splash? Here comes Splashy. Hey Splashy! Hello Splashy! Hello! He's smelling everything. All three of them are eating treats right now. Splash got a treat. I mean, Simba's been stealing all the treats that I've been putting through the gate. And Boo's been getting his treats on this side of the gate. They've already had enough treats, but I'm really just doing it right now as an experiment to see what Splash is going to do. Splash is getting his treat. Boo is right here. There's Simba. Simba is right at the gate. Right at the gate. So far they're all being nice to each other. Now Boo's laying down. Now Simba has had more than his share of treats. I'd like to give Splash some treats, but Simba's going to eat them. Hello! Hello! There's Stella in her bed. She turned around. She has her back to us. She's like, I don't care about no stupid cats. Okay, Simba went down the steps a little bit. And Splash is right there. And there's Boo. Boo's looking at him through the gate. Hello, Splash. Being a good boy? You want another treat? You just want to look at Boo? Want to look at Boo? I gave Splash a treat. It's right by the gate. Look at this. Right by the gate. He's smelling Boo through the gate. Boo's just sitting there. Want another treat, Splashy? 
Okay, another treat. Treat for Bill. Treat for Splash. Abu has had more than his share of treats right now, so I'm just going to give Splash a few more. Unless he walks away. Splash, want another one? I just moved Boo's plate over by this door, and I gave him like half a tablespoon of crunchies. Simba's right there. They probably want crunchies downstairs also, but I'll be going downstairs in a little while. I could give them some crunchies then. He's sitting right there eating, no problem. Simba's real close to him. Simba probably feels bad he doesn't have crunchies right now. 10.45 p.m. I came down to say hello to Stella. I shut the lights. They're gonna stay down here tonight. Boo's gonna have free roam. And I'm thinking of just keeping the door open between the upstairs and downstairs, just with the gates. And I don't think they're gonna try to break down the gates. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Eleven seventeen p.m. I'm sitting at the kitchen table, working on my laptop. I just heard a hiss and a growl. It appears to be Splash. What are you doing, Splashy? You don't be mean to your father like that. That's your daddy. Splash? What are you doing? Be a nice boy. You're supposed to be the nice one, Splash. Huh? Huh? What are you doing? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. 7.48 a.m. I'm trying to sleep because I was up until 2 o'clock in the morning. Simba's climbing the gates. I have a security camera on these gates. That's how I know what he's doing. Simba, gotta be a good boy. You upset? Do you see Boo? Are you going to get along with Boo? Are you? You can come upstairs. If you're going to get along with Boo, you can't attack Boo. No attacking Boo, okay? Could it be nice? Could it be nice to Boo? Are you going to be nice to Boo? Boo ate all of his dinner last night. Now he's getting his breakfast. Boo also slept on the bed all night. Well, most of the night, I think. Maybe at like five o'clock in the morning, he got up. And Boo thinks the bed is his. He thinks he owns it. He spread out. There was no room for anybody but him. So today Simba is the only brave one to come up into the kitchen. Stella just came up, sniffed around, and then when I petted her, she ran downstairs. She's not too happy. Hello, Stella. Hello. How are you? It is 8.45 a.m. 
and I move the gates to Boo's room. So there's one gate, there's a second gate, and there's a third gate. So I'm just going to leave this like this for a little while. Right now the cats have free roam. Boo's in his room. I feel pretty secure that if anyone tries to climb these gates they will hold um, because they held when Simba was trying to climb them before. Um, so I need to go take a shower and get dressed and not keep an eye on the cats. So, Boo, you're okay. You're on free roam all night, okay? You'll be fine. He wants to come out, but at the same time Simba wanted to come upstairs, so this is a temporary measure. Right, Boo? This is temporary, okay? Now that being said, I do think Boo is slightly stronger than Simba. So I don't know if he's going to be able to tear these down or push them push them down. But I know they'll make a really loud noise if he does. And he'll probably retreat under the love seat. 9 a.m. I just got out of the shower. There's Splash and Simba in the front window. Simba looks very relaxed. Splash looks a little uneasy. You can tell by his ears. But they are in view of Boo's door. If we look through Boo's door, there's Boo. Now he was looking out the windows as I walked by, but then he heard me, so he jumped down. 9.20 a.m. Boo is looking out the window in his room. But this is what he does when he sees me with the camera. He always gets up. Simba is taking a nap on the cat tree in the front window. Splash is looking out of a side window. Everyone is happy and relaxed. Stella is downstairs. Here's Stella. She's downstairs. She's on top of the cat tower and she's looking out the window. Hey Stella. You could come upstairs, Stella. Stella's not happy that Boo's out. I think the two of them have relationship issues to work out. I just washed my hands with the frankincense and myrrh hand soap. I thought Stella would like it. She's smelling my hand. I thought Stella's favorite fragrance. If they made perfume for cats, Stella would want frankincense and myrrh perfume. I could probably make an essential oil spray. I wouldn't spray it on the cat, though. It is 10.45 a.m. I just came outside to give Hydrox some food, and I moved this feeding table away from the feeder and there's still some dry food in the bowl, so it looks like maybe this piece of insulation that I hung up to block the birds from having easy access worked. Hello, Hydrox. How are you? There's no zoom on this camera right now. I'm about five feet away from him. How are you, Hydrox? Would you like to eat some food today? Would you like some food today, Hydrox? It's a little bit cold. You could go in your heated house. You don't want to go in your heated house? I just gave Hydrox some food and some water. Today he's getting Frisky's pate. It's the liver and chicken dinner. 10.55 a.m. I raised the gates on Boo's door as high as they could go. And I tried to slide this toy underneath it. So far Simba's been playing with it. Boo just came to check it out. Did they break it? Did you break it or is Simba sitting on it?
So I'm just trying to hold it back. I just put those two Sherpa pads onto Hydrox's favorite chair to lay on. So let's see if he lays on those. Right now the thermometer says it's about 46 degrees out. I just took out this cat charmer. J Red had sent this a couple weeks ago. Some of the toys and um, gifts that have been sent to the cats, I put away um, because they can't use everything at once. And I knew that um, during booze integration procedures, it would be good to have some brand new uh, stimulation for all of them, stuff that they've never seen or used before. So like right now, they're both playing with the same toy. And I could do this now that I know that uh, Boo doesn't have feline leukemia and nothing can be transmitted via saliva. FIV can only be transmitted via deep bite wounds. So as long as the cats don't get into any really bad fights, we're good, which is another reason why I'm using the gates and the door and I'm not just letting them at each other right away. I mean, we heard Simba growl right now. Pooh's been on really good behavior with all the cats. Stella, um, Stella's the one that I would be concerned about. Um, I would be concerned about Stella attacking Boo and then Boo just retaliating. And then Boo um, he likes to play, and I feel like he might want to play with the kittens, and they might interpret that wrong, and then um, a fight could start there. So those are my concerns, but they love this toy. They're both playing with the same toy. I think Stella will love this toy also. So... Another goal would be to um, get Stella to play with it, with Boo, at the same time. I don't think Boo minds the gates in situations like this because these lo these cats love digging things out from under things. Now if I put it mostly in Boo's room, is Simba going to try to get it?
I also like this acrylic wand because I feel like maybe it'll be um, more durable than those other plastic wands that the cats chew through. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I need to, I need to get a few things done right now on my computer. So I'm gonna put this half in Boo's room and half out here with Simba. But I think what Boo's gonna do, I think Boo's gonna pull it all into his room. Okay, half in Boo's room, half with Simba. The question is, are they going to play with each other, or do they only want to play because I'm here playing with them? Now that we know the cats can eat together without any issues, I have returned this tray of water and dry food to the kitchen. So what I'm going to do right now is, every time that the cats get served dry food, I am going to feed it to them in this area because this will be like a neutral area for them so this is not in Boo's room where he normally eats it's also not downstairs where the other cats normally eat so that means whoever is on free roam will have access to this food and this water Boo's in his room the cats are on free roam I just put out two tablespoons of dry food for them Simba came running up the steps and he's eating his dry food they only ate half of their breakfast today. They left the primal raw nuggets. So, this will be good for Stella and Splash. If they want to eat dry food, they have to come up and eat it in the kitchen now. They're laying on the ottoman right now. Some mother-son cuddling was going on. They can hear Simba eating his crunchies. 11.47 a.m. Right now it's about 7.15 p.m. and the downstairs cats are getting their meal. They're getting the Primal Raw Turkey Nuggets with their Nature's Variety Instinct Bites. There's Simba. There's Stella. Now Splash was just letting me pet him like either of these other cats would do and I was going to compliment him about it but when I went to show you Splash he uh, ran under the trampoline so you know one step forward one step back or two steps forward one step back I was just playing with Stella and Simba for a little while um, with their favorite feather toy on the fishing pole they had a good time playing with that here's Boo he's been in his room today and he was such a good boy. He's been resting and taking it easy, right, Boo? Hanging out? Are you hanging out? Now, he does have some food left over from breakfast. It's some of the primal raw nugget. It's also some of the nature's variety bites. Boo, are you hungry? Do you want to eat? If it was up to Boo, like, he would only eat dry food. I am going to give Boo his dinner. He's having the same thing the other cats are having. Right now, Boo's on free room for a while. Boo found the plate of dry food in the kitchen. There was only a little bit left because Splash had eaten some and Simba had eaten some today. I don't know if Stella came upstairs. But Boo found it, and look, he's wolfing it down. I just put his food in his room though, so. It is 7.28 p.m. Simba's at the gate, looking at Boo. Boo's here. I don't know how far away from the gate he is. I can't see through the table, but I thought Simba would be up here. Simba's probably a little bit upset that he's not coming upstairs, but um, whether today or tomorrow or the next day, it's very soon that I am going to let the cats uh, interact with each other. So there's Boo right near the door. And there's Simba, he's laying down on the other side of the door. 
and I'm hearing like cat noises. I'm not hearing meows. I'm not hearing hissing. I'm not hearing growling. It's like a totally different sound. I really, it's almost like the sound Simba makes when he's hunting bugs. He's not making it now though. Stella's by the door. So I got the toy out, the toy that Boo and um, Simba were playing with this morning, the cat charmer, look. Stella's here with Boo. They're both playing with the same toy. I love this toy because it's so long. Stella's looking at Boo. Now she's growling. Then Boo jumped. I put the gate up a little bit higher today to leave some room to play underneath it like this. Yesterday I had it level way to the floor. Boo's keeping his distance and still a growled. What are you doing, Stella? Be nice to Boo. That's your Boo. He's named Boo because he's your Boo. You know that, Stella. What, are you giving him a warning? I think Stella's just giving him a warning. Boo backed off. Boo's under the table right now. Which is good. Maybe he respects women. And Stella's still here. Like she hasn't run downstairs like yesterday when she was in her little plastic bed and didn't want anything to do with anything. It's because I spent time specifically with her. Stella likes attention. So I gave her some good attention today. I have to remember to make time to play with the cats. They say a minimum of 15 minutes to play with the cats is okay. But Stella likes one-on-one -on -one time. Stella, come here. Come on. Stella doesn't like it when I talk about her. Come on, I'm not going to talk about you. Let's talk about Boo. Boo has it. Boo grabbed it. Stella, I wonder if I could give Stella some treats. Boo's eating a treat, Simba had a treat, and Stella has a treat right in front of her if she'd eat it. Stella, you want a treat? Stella walked away, so Boo came back to the door. And here's Simba. It appears that they would play nicely together, but I know if Boo like jumped on Simba, he's not gonna like it. And Boo can be very much like a kitten sometimes. You guys gonna play? Come on, are we gonna play? Come on.
look at Splash. Want to play Splash? Look, here's Boo and his two sons. Look at this. Boo and his two sons. Together again. But there's a gate between them. Is Boo gonna be a good daddy? Okay, that just scared Boo for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, I am going to just leave this here. Half in and half out. And um, continue what I was doing. It is 1.30 a.m. right now. I'm just about to go to bed and I came downstairs to look for Stella. I was going to bring her upstairs. And this is what I find. Stella and Splash hanging out on the ottoman. The two of them are spending a lot of time together lately. I don't know if it has anything to do with Boo. I don't know if Stella is trying to protect Splash. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if Splash is seeking out Stella for comfort. But there they are. The two of them on the ottoman. Hydrox and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. 7.48 a.m. Most of the dry food in the kitchen has been eaten. Come on up, Stella. I'm all out of wheatgrass. Okay, so I've been putting together the food for the downstairs cats, and I noticed an interaction between Stella and Splash, where Splash went to rub up against Stella and be all nice to her, and then she swatted at him, and she was just like, leave me alone. So then Splash backed away, and now he won't let me pet him, and he's hiding halfway across the room. So here's Splash. He doesn't want to come any closer. He doesn't want to let me pet him today. And meanwhile, he's been letting me pet him so much lately. And he doesn't want to come by and eat. So I think a lot of it has to do with Stella's behavior towards him. And I think maybe the reason why he's been so nice and friendly and letting me pet him lately 
um, has been in part because Stella has been really nice to him. They've been cozying up, laying together on the ottoman and stuff. I think a lot of Splash's problems stem from his mother. Stella, you got to be nice to Splash. You got to be nice to your boy. You hear me? Stella, you got to be nice to Splash. Got it? I know he annoys you sometimes, but that's just how he is. Okay? You got to be nice to him. Because he gets upset when you're not nice to him. Look, he doesn't even want to come around and eat his food now. Stella, do you hear me? Stella, do you understand what I'm saying? Blink if you understand what I'm saying. Stella, be nice to Splash, got it? Be nice to Splash. Splash loves you, Stella. You have to be nice to him, even if he annoys you. Don't be mean to Splash. He's your son. No one's here to eat right now. Only Stella. Simba went back upstairs and Splash is hiding somewhere. Simba ran back upstairs. He's on top of the cat tower. I'm supposed to let Boo out. Good morning, Boo. Okay, Boo's out and Simba's out at the same time. Good morning, Boo. Good morning, Boo. Hello. You're a nice boy. He came straight to his dry food. And Simba went straight into Boo's room. Simba, come on. Simba wants to look out the window. Come on. Oh, he wants to go in his cat tower. Simba misses his room. Simba misses looking out of the window. And yes, it still says 10 days to go. I have not changed that yet. I haven't had a chance. Well, Simba wasted no time in running back into this room. No time at all. Look at this. And he's just making himself comfortable. Simba, Boo's going to come in here and I don't think he's going to be very happy. Okay? But this is on you. This is what you did. I didn't force you in this room. Okay? Just remember that. I did not force you in this room. Boo is gobbling up his dry food. Oh my gosh. I picked Simba up and I moved him back into the front window. I just am not comfortable with Boo walking into his room and Simba being trapped in there. Not that anything bad is going to happen. I just, I think it's better if they meet each other on neutral territory. So right now, Simba's looking out the window in the front room and Boo is rubbing up against my leg. So right now, Simba sees Boo. He sees him. And Boo is rubbing up against my legs. I just don't want either of the cats to charge each other. Because I know that's not going to be a good thing. Okay. Oh, oh, be careful. Be careful. Hey. Holy Jesus. Come on. Okay. That went better than expected. Okay. Boo is having the same thing that the other cats had, which is a primal raw chicken and salmon nugget and nature's variety instinct raw chicken bites. Today they're getting freeze-dried blueberry and some powdered wheatgrass. 
Okay, so I knew that was gonna happen. So Boo followed me into the kitchen. Simba came in here, was gonna eat Boo's food. And now Simba's hiding under the love seat. Okay, Bo. Bo, good boy. Simba, you can't hide under Boo's love seat. I gotta go take a shower, okay? You can't hide under here. Gotta, gotta come out. Boo's right next to me right now. Simba, you gotta leave. Leave the room, please. Boo wants to eat his food. Come on. Hello, Hydrox. Would you like some food? Looks like it rained sometime overnight. Everything is wet. But Hydrox is not running away. I just took some cardboard out to the garage. Where's he gonna go? Hydrox, you don't wanna eat? You don't want any food? It looks like he just ate dry food out of the feeder, but I'll come back out and give him wet food. Okay, guys, I just looked outside. Look at what's going on now. Here's Hydrox, and there's another cat. I've never seen this other cat before, but look at this other cat. Look at the cat. It looks like Stella, but the nose is almost like Splash. Look at this. This has to be from the feral family. I wonder if this is Stella's mom or dad. I've never seen this cat before. I don't know if it belongs to a neighbor, but look, look how much it looks like Stella. Oh my gosh. It might be Stella's dad. Cause here's, here's Hydrox. And um, like there's a lot of tension going on right now. And I hope there's not gonna be a fight now. Right now I kind of feel bad for Hydrox, but this is really Hydrox's territory now. So here's the cat. Unless the cat is just visiting for the first time. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the cat's been sleeping in this doghouse shelter. I don't know. I have not been picking up anything on the security footage at night. Or even during the day. Uh -oh. I don't want to chase anyone away. Right now I'm just in observation mode. And that's what we always need to do. And we don't want to react because that's the easiest thing to do and it's usually the wrong thing to do. Never react. Always observe and rationalize. So now obviously these cats have been living outside on their own for a while so there's no reason for me to get involved just now. I don't want to chase any of them away. I don't want to scare Hydrox. Maybe this cat just wants food and water. There's a lot of like howling going on. Do you guys hear that? Hydrox is howling. I don't know if this other cat was just playing really slick to like get within attacking distance of Hydrox. Can you guys hear that? That has to be Stella's mother or father, it has to be. I mean, look at the nose, that's where Splash would have gotten his nose coloring from. I don't know what the hell they're doing. Is he trying to get an attack? I've never seen a cat trying to attack like that. Maybe he wants to be friends.
If that cat lays down right now, it's gonna try to be friends with Hydrox. What is going on? Now they're both howling. Wonder what's gonna happen if I open the window. Do you guys wanna eat? Do you guys want some food? Would you guys like some food? Hey! Do you want some food? Would you like some food? I know I said I, sh I wasn't gonna, I know I said I wasn't going to uh, interrupt, but I don't like where this is going. You guys want some food? Would you like some food? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? To me, this reminds me so much of when Stella showed up for food that time. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Would you like some food? You guys want to eat food? Okay, I just came outside with the food and Hydrox is under the table and the other cat is under the fence. It's still kind of watching. I'm gonna put food out in two separate locations. Okay, here I am, I'm putting food out and there's Hydrox like right near me. Hydrox, would you like some food? I think he's worried about the other cat getting his food. Hydrox. Yeah, good boy. Okay, so I just put some food in the kitty cafe for Hydrox, and I have the other half of the can here on this paper plate. I'm putting that here in this little sheltered corner, so if the other cat wants to come and eat, it could come and eat that. Stella has been watching from the door. Boo has been watching from his window. Hydrox is eating his food, and that other cat, if it's hungry, I'm sure it will come back and, uh, eat some of this food. There's food where Hydrox is and then there's food in the other corner of the patio close to that fence. Okay, I just looked outside and I saw that this plate had been moved but also that this plate had been emptied. So I, um, I don't see any food that might have just gotten spilled. So it looks like someone ate it. I don't know if it was Hydrox or that other cat. Hydrox's bowl is empty also. It is 3.44 p.m. I'm in my office right now and I just called the vet to get Boo's test results for the Western Blot FIV test. Now the vet left me a message yesterday and um, I could not get back to her and she said to call her back for the results. So I'm calling today. At first they um, had to put me on hold and they seemed confused. She had to read the notes in the computer and then she um, had to ask someone else about something. This is the receptionist, the person who answered the phone. Then, after several minutes, she finally got back to me, and she said that she could not give me the test results because the doctor has to give me the results, and the doctor is away at a conference until Wednesday of next week. And I was like, well, that doesn't make any sense. Um, I said I paid for the test. Not only did I pay for the test, but I'm the person who requested the test, not the doctor. So if you can't read the results to me, I would like you to email the results to me. And um, she didn't think she was able to do that. I don't know. It just, it makes absolutely no sense. If I am the person paying for the test, and if I'm the person requesting the test, like I'm ordering it, then I should be able to get the results when... I want the results. It should not have to be moderated through a doctor. I should actually get the printout. And um, this is just one of the many reasons why I hate conventional medicine and the whole conventional medical system. Because patients are treated, we're all treated like we're stupid. We don't know what we're talking about. And um, I just hate this. I hate dealing with these mediators. I'm not saying that I hate this vet because I, um, I like this vet and I like the people at the vet's office. It's just, I hate this whole, like, just this whole system, the way things are done. Like, I'm hiring them for their services. So, therefore, anything that I hire them for, I should have full access to all of the paperwork and all of my reports. It is 7 p.m. I just got home. 
I ended up having to work much later than I thought I would. I usually like to be home before it gets dark so I could put food out for Hydrox and feed him dinner, but there was no way to do that today. I was just too busy at work, so um, I just got home. And uh, here is the dry food that I left for the cats this morning. And it's pretty much all gone. I put two tablespoons of dry food, so this is Stella, Splash, and Simba. Stella's fur on her back is like all weird right now. I don't know if like someone was chewing on it or what. Maybe she was cuddling with Splash and Splash was like, chewing on her fur. I don't know, it's just sticking up really weird. You guys see this? Hey Simba. You guys ready for dinner? Okay. We're just gonna hang out here. Simba blends into this rug also. Hello. Hey Stella. We're just gonna hang out. Simba's kicking his mother in the head. Simba! Don't kick Stella in the head. You a nice girl, Stella? Okay, guys, you wanna go eat? Would you like to eat some food? I vacuumed the rugs this morning and I made the cats like a little sitting area here with their scratch and rolls and the cat it digger in the middle. I like how the green goes with the green rug. They had all their breakfast. At first they always leave the primal raw nuggets but then they go back to them and eat them. They eat their blueberries, they eat their wheatgrass powder. I let Boo out of his room the first thing he did was finish up those Last few crunchies. Hey, Boo. Hey, Boo. How are you? Boo's fur is just about all grown in. It is 9 p.m. and it is finally time to open up the first present on this advent calendar for the cats. There is a little gift bag for each day and each gift bag has a numbered tag on it. So today would be number one. What do you think the cats got? Boo, what'd you get? What'd you get, Boo? Ooh, would you like to open the present? Want to open the present? They got Zebedee's catnip mice. These are herb filled mice and this was actually a gift from J Red uh, quite a while ago. And I put these away for the cats because at the time they had um, quite a few new toys and I wanted to give these to the cats on a special occasion. So the occasion is the beginning of Advent. This is their first present and they will have small little gifts and goodies for uh, every day from now until Christmas. This is what the mice look like. Really cute. See them? They come in two colors. They feel very soft, like a flannel material. And they smell amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm kind of shocked that Boo's not playing with one. Let's see what happens if we give one to Boo. I'm going to put three of them back in the little bag to bring downstairs for the other cats. Boo! 
What is it, Boo? Do you like your mouse? It's a Zebedee's catnip mouse. I hope he doesn't tear it apart. I think it's solid catnip inside. Like, I mean, I think the whole thing is catnip. You know how you buy some toys and there's like a bunch of padding inside and a little bit of catnip? I tried to move it over here where the lighting is better. Oh yeah. He's going crazy over this mouse. Boo said thank you for the mouse. That's what that look was for. He said he never knew a mouse could taste that good. Don't forget Boo has giant teeth, so I don't know how well toys last with him. Okay, I just brought the little gift bag down to the other cats. And I'm not quite sure where Splash is. Oh, I just found Splash. Splash is under the trampoline. So I am, come on guys, let's open our advent present. Today is day one of advent. Here are the other three catnip mice. Simba's gonna take a blue one probably, because they love blue. Their favorite color is blue. That's what they told Sonia. He's probably gonna lift it up and move it. If I know Simba, that's what he would do. Okay, Simba took one. Stella, you want one? Yeah. Huh? 
on this one. Splash! Hello, Splash! How are you? I have a cat in your mouth. Oh, already ripped the yarn off of it. Splash, play with your catnip mouse. That's yours. You can play with it. It's yours. Simba says, thank you for the mouse. Simba loves his mouse. You love your mouse, Simba? Stella has ripped off like all the yarn. Stella, what'd you do? See what I mean when I say Stella can be vicious? Stella could be very vicious. Simba seems to uh, be in a very happy mood right now. He's already feeling his catnip. Splash is playing with his mouse. Stella just stole Simba's mouse. Simba, you can have Stella's mouse. I wonder if she's gonna pull the yarn out of Simba's mouse. Boo's up at the door, but I'm not letting him down. Because with the catnip in him, I don't really, I don't think that's a good idea right yet. I mean, Simba's very mellow right now. If Stella gets mellow from this catnip, I want to see if I could cut her nails.
Stella pulled all of this yarn out of that mouse. Simba has the munchies. I put the mice in the digger. Is she going to dig them out? Of course. That was too easy for her. Is she going to get the other one? Boo's crying upstairs. Boo loves his mouse. He just wanted me to watch him play with his mouse. Nine forty seven PM. I have the cat charmer out and I'm playing with the cats. There's Simba and Splash and Boo's on this side of the gate. And they've been playing with each other and there has not been any hissing or growling or anything. Of course they're all high on catnip right now. But I think it's good, especially Splash. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Hey Simba, are you the one that pulled the rug out? There used to be that little rug here. Now it's down there. Hey Stella. You see Boo? You guys see Boo? Wanna play? Oh my gosh, Stella. That's Simba, you know Simba. They must have took the toy with it, that cat charmer toy. It must be downstairs, because I don't see it up here at all. I got this other toy out. Boo's behind me. And I had all three cats here. It was Simba, Stella, and Splash, all of them. And Stella sees Boo and she's growling at it. Boo keeps his distance from Stella. Boo avoids conflicts with these cats. Like, Boo's not stupid. Stella's not happy that the gate is up. All four of the cats were here playing with it. Stella! Stella! I'm gonna go get some of that calming spray and see what happens. I just put three sprays of the calming spray along the bottom of this doorway. I mean, I smell it. It's pretty potent stuff. Okay, well, I guess it didn't work with Stella because she just tried to attack Simba. But I'm leaving it here. I mean, it's not going to go anywhere. I'm actually rubbing the toy through it right now. So here's Boo's plate from last night. He ate all of his dinner except for three little instinct bites. Hey, Boo. Boo had free roam last night. He uh, slept on the cat tower till about four in the morning. And then I, uh, I picked him up and he slept on the bed. I just took the gates away from the door. Simba came right upstairs and I gave him some dry food on this little 
community dry food plate. Stella is sitting downstairs hungry. And that's probably why she's so angry this morning, because she's hungry. It could also be the catnip from those catnip mice. Sometimes catnip does weird things to cats. Stella, say you're sorry to Simba. Apologize to Simba for being nasty to him, please. You're supposed to be nice to your children. It looks like Stella really likes this pet remedy. I mean, look, she's rolling all around in it. I think it's the valerian. I mean, that's a complete 180. I just looked outside and I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is a frost on the lawn. So I think that means this is our first hard frost. It's the first really visible frost of the year. Look at this. There's the cat charmer toy. But there's no rug. Where'd the rug go? There's the rug. It got pushed into the corner. Stella, be a good girl, okay? Okay, Stella? It's okay. There's enough food for everybody. No one's gonna hurt you. Who wants to be your friend, Stella? You gotta be nice. Okay, here's one of the catnip mice. This used to be a blue mouse. But now it's like this weird dark gray blue color. There's no tail on it. Oh, it's soaking wet. And uh, the ears off. Everything's chewed off. I think, I think this is what's making Stella crazy. Now this is Splashy's mouse and see how nice Splash plays with his mouse? Splash is a gentleman. He doesn't destroy his things. This is what Stella did. And here's the other mouse. See it? Stella? No more catnip for you, okay? Stella, no more catnip. You can't handle it. Stella's like one of those violent drunks. See? Look, she's going nuts. This morning, I heard the feeder go off at 5.30 a.m., which means I need to reset the um, schedule on it. I guess when the time fell back for daylight savings, it affected when the food was being dispensed. So that would make a lot of sense as to why a lot of the food goes missing, because if it's dispensing it so early in the morning when it's still dark out, all kinds of creatures could be eating it. There's Simba. He's eating more dry food in the kitchen. Stella's a mean drunk. She has to sober up. Stella, gotta sober up. Hello, Splashy. Stella, what's the matter with you? No more catnip for you. You hear me? You can't handle your catnip. Stella, if you can't handle your catnip, you're not getting any more catnip. Got it? Better start acting like a lady. Instead of a queen. And these two stick together when she starts having her episodes. Stella is a very Italian cat. She has my grandfather's temper. And she also takes after one of her namesakes in the family. 
who would get very angry every time she went on a diet. I say Stella is Italian because she likes to express her emotions. She doesn't hold them back. And she also enjoys her food. Italian people enjoy food. Stella is eating all by herself because neither Simba nor Splash want to eat with her right now because she has not been very nice to them this morning. Right, Simba? Simba, why don't you go eat your food? Simba, you can eat your food. I know, you don't want to be smacked by your mom. It's 8.58 a.m. Look who's sitting on the doormat. It's Hydrox. Hydrox is sitting right by the door. This means I gotta go out and give him food. Hydrox is getting a can of the Trader Joe's turkey and giblets. He's also getting these multi-essential drops. These are like uh, multivitamin for cats. I just gave Hydrox the whole can of food. It is really cold out. You see all that steam coming off of the warm water? And there's Hydrox. He was trying to eat food out of the can as I was emptying the water out. Look, look, I'm sitting here. He's stretching, he stretched his back legs out. Oh my God, look at this. I'm right here, guys, look. I am right here, I'm a foot away from Hydrox. And he's eating his food, like he's not even afraid of me. This is crazy. Hello, Hydrox. It's okay, see what happened? I, I uh, put the camera in a little bit closer. See how he backed away and he got scared? That's why I don't want to, uh, you know, force any of my interactions on him. I'd rather just kind of be here and let him do what he wants. And there he is right now, so I'm gonna go inside and let him finish eating. Look at what Boo did to the gate. I just got out of the shower, and this is what he did to the gate. Can you see that? Can you see how he pushed, he's trying to push the gate out of the door? Do you see how it's like on the very edge of the door frame? That's not where I left the gate. Boo has been pushing the gate. That's how strong this cat is because these gates are in there really, really stable, really sturdy. 10, 12 a.m. Simba is on top of the cat tower in the front window. Boo is on the cat tower in his room. Six twenty-seven p.m. I just fed the downstairs cats. Boo only ate half of his breakfast. I put the gate up just to keep Boo upstairs. I don't want him going down um, with Stella in the mood she's been in lately. I'd rather that she uh, interacts with him more through a gate before um, they're on free roam together. Now Boo's been on free roam with Simba without issues. I don't think he'll have issues with Splash. Stella is the uh, the one of concern. I think Stella might beat up Boo. Simba just jumped over the fence. Here's Boo and there's Simba. I have a bunch of bags on the floor because I went shopping today and I did not put everything away yet. You guys wanna play? Wanna play? Are we going to be nice and play? We're going to play with each other, right? We're going to be nice and play? Yes? No? Okay, let me explain what just happened. So Boo did exactly what I thought he would do, is that he played all innocent, and um, he was just like looking at Simba, and they weren't even near this mouse toy. They were um, near the uh, cat it circuit thing. 
and uh, he was looking at Simba all nice, and then he jumped him. He jumped on Simba, and um, I don't know if he went to bite him or what, because my goal was just to split it up as fast as possible, and um, as soon as I yelled, uh, Boo did back off. Um, so I don't know if he was trying to play with Simba or if he was trying to attack Simba or what, but Simba was not happy with it. So Boo lost his free roam privileges right now. Simba, are you okay? Are you okay, Simba? Are you okay? Did Boo hurt you? Are you okay, Simba? Did Boo hurt you? He's a mean cat sometimes. Here's a tuft of fur that came off of that came off of Simba. I don't know if Boo scratched him or what. I wish I had the camera on that instead of the undercover mouse. And Stella is so concerned she's up here looking around right now like what happened? Now it could be that Boo just wanted to play um, because it was just out of nowhere. Like Boo was not making any aggressive sounds or an aggressive stance or anything. So it could be that he just wanted to play. Today is day two on the advent calendar. So we are going to open up the second little gift bag and see what the cat's got. Stella, you gonna come over here with Simba and help me open this? What did they get? They got treats. These are Pure Bites, wild caught and made in the USA. One ingredient, 100% natural. This is freeze dried ocean white fish. It says cats love the taste of Pure Bites. Made with only one ingredient, 100% pure natural wild caught ocean white fish. Proudly fished in the ocean and made in the USA. Made using a delicate freeze drying process that helps preserve fresh, raw, whole food. High in protein and on average two calories per treat. Rich source of nutrients to promote your cat's healthy skin and coat. Feeding guidelines feed as a healthy treat for your pet. Okay, let's see if the cats like these. I just smelled one of these. They smell super fishy. That's what they look like, basically just a rectangle piece of dried fish. Wow, he inhaled that. Did you like that, Simba? Simba, did you like that? You want another one? Want another one? Good boy, Simba. Oh my gosh, they love these. Stella, would you like a piece of fish? She smells them. She's already getting excited. No, it's weird considering they, I guess they just don't like salmon. These smell very fishy. Simba, let your mom try it. Let your mommy try it. The treat thief strikes again. Stella's annoyed with that. Eat it, Stella. Eat it. Simba, you've had yours. Stella. Splashes downstairs, lounging on the ottoman. I give him a treat. Hope he eats it fast. Simba. That's not yours, Simba. Simba's waiting to pounce on it.
It is splashy. You like it. Get it. You like it. He wants me to take the camera off of him. I just put the gates back in the door. Now, if Simba climbs these gates again, then he knows what he's going to be finding on the other side. Boo is on free run. He's been in timeout for a little while. I'm going to take him out and give him some treats. Boo! Boo! Boo, say you're sorry. Say you're sorry. Say I'm sorry. Nope. There we go. Simba just jumped the gates. Does Boo like the treats? Well, Boo ate his treats. You gonna eat your treat? Simba came over to watch. Gonna eat your treat, Boo? Eat your treat. Boo, you have three treats right here. Eat your treats. You have three treats. Eat them. Gonna eat your treats? Hey! Hey! Come here! I was going to say that I just removed the middle gate and let's watch Simba jump over the bottom gate, but he beat me to it. Boo is looking like he's going to pounce on Simba from behind. Did you see that? Did you see the look? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's 9 a.m. Last night, someone ate the leftover treats that were on the rug. All the dry food in the kitchen has been eaten. Hi, Stella. Hey, Simba. You guys ready for breakfast? You guys gonna eat breakfast? Want some food? You guys hungry? Would you like to eat? I just realized they all have something to rub up against. So these two are using the tree. And Stella is using the self-groomer. Hello, Splashy. Good morning. And it's so funny because Splash and Simba, they all have their special little branch of this tree that they like to rub against. But Stella likes the groomer. You like the groomer? Stella, you like the self-groomer? You like the groomer? Groom yourself. Let me see. Good job, Stella. Good job. I just put two gates up between these doors. The bottom gate, there's a top gate. I'm not putting the third gate up right now because Simba is already upstairs. He didn't eat his food. Instead, he decided he is going to go straight upstairs because he does not want to be shut downstairs. So here's Simba sitting on top of the cat tower in the front window. I'm letting Boo out. Good morning, Boo. How are you? Stretching your legs? We ate all this food last night after I showed you uh, that he finished his dinner. I had given him like, I don't know, like a tablespoon of crunchies before he went to bed because he was in his room all night. He ate all those too. So, Pooh's out of his room. Whoops! He just knocked over that tripod that I had standing up. He's on the rug. Simba's still in the cat tower. Simba will probably stay in the cat tower to keep an eye on Boo. This is Boo's breakfast today. He is getting the primal raw chicken and salmon nugget. He's getting a quarter cup of the Nature's Variety chicken bites. 
He's getting one freeze-dried strawberry that I crushed up. He's getting a little bit of the dried cat grass powder. There's also some sprig water and the downstairs cats, um, they got the same thing but they did not get the greens or the strawberry. Um, they just got the, uh, the cat food. I just came into Boo's room to give him food and Simba's in the room. Simba's hiding under the day bed. Boo likes to hang out instead of eat, then he goes back and he eats. I just set up two of the arches near the scratch and roll in the living room. And Boo is looking like he's going to pounce on Simba from behind. Did you see that? Did you see the look? So Boo's in this one. Simba's in this one. Hey! I can't leave them alone. Not yet. I don't trust them to play nice. Simba. Simba, I think Boo just wants to play with you. But he plays rough. Okay, Simba? Boo plays rough. And I know your mama raised you right. So you and Splash are gentlemen cats. Boo's not a gentleman cat, he's a street thug, okay? Remember that. Boo! I don't like how Boo's looking at Simba. You don't attack him. You guys could play. You can look out the window with him. The two of you can look out the window. You can look out the window, but you can't be mean. Look at this. He loves it. Mm -hmm. He could sit in his scratch and roll under an arch. Boo! So right now Boo's just laying on the rug and they're kind of just looking at each other. And I want to give them something else to look at. So what I'm going to do is I am going to put uh, bird videos on the TV and see if they take it, their attention off each other. So right now Boo is watching the bird videos and Sim is watching the bird videos. So if they both can watch the bird videos, then they should be able to peacefully coexist. It's 10 a.m. Boo is laying near his arches and he's watching the bird videos on TV. Simba is laying on top of the cat tower and he's watching bird videos on TV. If they can stay like this for a while, this would be great. I don't think we could realistically expect Boo to just jump right into the family dynamic, which has been established by Stella and her two sons. It's obviously a different dynamic inside the house now that everyone's been fixed than it was and they were living outside in nature when no one had been fixed. So there's a lot of differences going on and it will take Boo some time to adjust to that as well as the other cats. It will take some time for all four of them to adjust to that and just figure out everyone's new role in the group. 10.20 a.m. I just heard a hiss. I came in here and Boo was sitting right here looking at Simba, and Simba was up here. So I guess Boo was getting too much in Simba's personal space. Boo, we had a talk about getting in people's personal spaces, right? You know the other cats don't like it when you get all up in their personal space? Okay? Gotta give them time to get to know you, okay? Gotta give them a little bit of time before you can rub up against them and play with them. I know, you just want to play with them. But you have to be nice to them, Boo. I don't know who your mother was, but maybe she didn't teach you good manners. Okay? You gotta turn into a gentleman. Stella wants you to be a gentleman, not a street cat. Okay? Okay, Boo? Boo, you gonna be a gentleman? You gonna be a gentleman? No thug life for you. The thug life is over. Got it?
No thug life for you. Oh, you want me to tap? Did you want me to pet your head? You're giving me mixed signals right now. Okay, boo. No thug life for you anymore. It's about 10.30 a.m. And um, I'm giving him some treats. These are not the good treats. These are the nine lives. I just had this bag open. So um, Boo's been here in the hallway getting his treats. And Simba has been there in the kitchen getting his treats. He's just been throwing the treats to Simba. But there's no gate between them. And they've been getting along pretty good so far. Hydrox is hanging out on the patio chair. I have to go give him some food. Okay, there's still a little bit of dry cat food in the feeder, and I just readjusted the time for it to dispense breakfast. It was set to 6 o'clock, but it was actually dispensing at 5.30 in the morning. So I just set it to 7.30, which will dispense at 7 a.m. I put the gates on the door so I can actually get some stuff done. I have so much stuff to do today, it's not even funny. And Simba just climbed all the gates. Like, I turn around, I heard the noise, and I turn around, and I see him on the top gate dropping to the floor. And then Boo walked over and was smelling the gate, and they were smelling each other through the gate like there was no problem. No growling, no hissing, nothing. They were just smelling each other through the gate. And then Simba laid down, and uh, Boo is uh, walking around. There's a clearance of about one inch under this gate, so I just took some crunchies and I put them under the gate. They're like on Boo's side of the gate, they're on the other side of the gate. Stella is right there and they both like crunchies, so I think that's something that they could possibly get along on. Maybe they won't fight off with crunchies. I mean, they used to eat crunchies together all the time. I used to feed them crunchies together on the patio when they were living outside before the kittens. And they had no problem eating it together then, so maybe this will jog a memory. But the gate is there in case Stella snaps at him. Now to me, it looks like this gate is not in tight enough because it's slowly working its way down to the floor. So now Boo can't even like get his paw under it. Stella's just sitting there, like nothing. Now she's looking, where's he going? Where's he going? I raised the gate and I tightened it so it should not be coming down now. There's a whole bunch of dry food under the gate. Simma's eating it, Boo's eating it. We have to remember that even when the cats were living outside, Boo wasn't a tight part of the group. Like, he came around for meals with Stella and the kittens, and I did see him often in their little den where they would all be together. But the majority of the day, it was always Stella and the kittens, and then Boo was off doing whatever he did. So Boo's not going to have the same bond with the kittens as Stella has. Stella and the two kittens will always have a tighter family unit. Stella's just sitting there watching him. At least she's not hissing, and she's not growling. Stella, you're not going to eat any crunchies?
Her ears are forward. I think maybe by feeding them the crutches on the floor that might jog some memories of being outside because that's how I used to give them the crunchies. I used to just give them crunchies on the patio. Hey, Stella. You gonna be nice to Boo? Boo, be nice to Stella. Be nice to each other. Is Boo gonna lay down? He's just gonna lay down and hang out. The big issue is Boo's FIV positive status. Not that that is a big deal or anything, but I don't need to feel guilty for that being transmitted to the other cats. And that is why I'm taking all of these extra precautionary measures. Only because of the FIV positive status. It is time for mail. This week we have two packages to open. This is the first package. It says Uncommon Goods on it. wonder what it is. Stella's watching me. Stella, what do you think it is? Come here. Well, that's a pretty gift box. I love the ribbon. Is it just slide off? Yeah. Is this open? It says, Uncommon Goods. Merry Christmas to the Lucky Ferrells family from Janet Stemper. Thank you, Janet. Stella, you want to look? You want to see what we got? What did we get, Stella? What did you want to lay in the box? Stella likes laying in boxes. It says door harp walnut sky round balls. Bob Murphy. Bob has been making things from wood most of his life. After retiring from a career spent building homes, he began to create new designs from an exotic array of wood. Surrounded in his shop with enough heavy-duty equipment to make anything his heart desires, he is always motivated to design and create new items. When he is not creating, he cherishes spending time with his lovely wife, Border Collie, and Calico Cat. Ooh. Oh wow, this is so cool. This is a door harp. I saw this and I just thought it was the coolest thing. So I had put this on the Amazon wish list. And um, I've never had one of these before. This is Moon Mountain Woods made in USA. I have had wind chimes, like the good wind chimes that are actual chimes that actually make music. Um, and not the wind chimes that just make noise. In my mind, there's like a huge difference. And um, I thought this would be so nice to hang on the back of my front door so that every time I go in and out of the front door, it would um, make a nice harp noise uh, in the house. And harp music is supposed to be very relaxing for cats. So um, it could have that added benefit also. Here's what it looks like. Can you guys hear that? It's a very delicate sound. Um, and I believe, I believe these are tunable. Um, I've seen ones that are tunable, so I would think this one is tunable also, but to me it sounds pretty good right now. So.
That is awesome. Thank you so much, Janet. I uh, I love this door harp, and uh, I'm gonna put it on my door right away. It fits perfectly on the back of the door. It also comes with this tuning wrench and uh, instructions. It says a Scandinavian musical instrument hung on the inside of the front door is used to welcome guests into your home as the door opens and closes, producing a soothing sound with its beautiful design of inlay woods. To change the sound with the tuning wrench, adjust each piano pin slightly. Don't over tighten to obtain the desired tone. The keyhole on back is where to attach your harp to screw on door. Tighten screw into door just enough so that screw head tightly grabs keyhole to hold the door harp solidly and snug on the door. The cats are more interested in what's going on outside. Look at Stella's girlish figure. Okay, let's open this next box. What do we have in here? We have more boxes. Oh my gosh. What a whole bunch of boxes. Okay, I'm not sure where to start here, so I'm just going to start with uh, the smallest and work my way up in size. It says, hello. You need not share the other side of this page, but read before you show gifts. Please share front side. GBY. Some thoughts for you from Wagmore. Hello, Lucky Ferrells. I hope this note finds all of you happy and healthy as we turn the corner from the Thanksgiving holiday and set our sights on Christmas and the New Year. Enclosed, please accept some gifts of joy and cheer, which will serve as early Christmas presents of cheer. One, Ms. L. Ferrells. I saw in a prior video someone else sent this. I had already ordered and received and could not send back. But your family of felines needs more wheatgrass and cannot stand to see Simba and Stella without. I know deep down you really have a green thumb. Two, you may already have these two, but please find different color cat stickers. Maybe using for Hydrox will help or others on Cat Wheel. If you have, you can use as a giveaway on your site. Three, Always saw these on TV and wanted one, but now you have won the dreaded Chia Pet Cat Grow Kit. Chia seed are actually very nutritious for cats and dogs. I checked online as well as on many other sites and good to go. The research I have done shows it's the seeds which can be harmful as they soak up much water, so the leaf is perfectly fine. You know, that's really funny because... When was it? It was either Thanksgiving night or the day after Thanksgiving and I was out shopping with my mom and we walked into a store and they had Chia Pets and I remember stopping and looking at one and deciding if I wanted to buy one or not because I've never had one before and I thought the cats might like it so you must have been psychic and read my mind. Four. A friend recommended Jingo's a natural stain and odor remover. This is for the night pooper and the one who makes stinkies, LOL. This product is very safe. As usual, please read all directions and any online info before spraying. They do have testing and lab results with facts online if you have any concerns. These two bottles should last you a lifetime. Five, this is decal looks like someone we know. Could it actually be Boo? You can put it on your washer dryer, your wall, or window, and they showed online. It'd even be put on the back of one's car. I would not do that, but heck, place wherever you want and have fun. In closing, know your channel brings much happiness and joy to many. I am not one for words, but know many in the cat chat love this channel. It tells a story. It shows the day-to-day, in-day-out life of your feline family with some very funny jokes, whimsical situations, and the love you show and share it with all. May God bless you and yours.
Well, thank you so much, Wagmore. That was a very, very nice letter. I really appreciate that. So these are the decals, and look. It looks just like Boo. Can you guys see that? I know there is reflections going on right here. That looks just like Boo. It says, find the break around the sticker. It's a pre-cut line that falls around the sticker image. Bend at the break and the sticker will come apart from the backing paper. Pull the sticker away from the backing paper and remove completely. Now you can apply it to the surface. Start from one edge and apply slowly to ensure there are no air bubbles. Transparent sticker is water resistant. Glossy white sticker is not. I'm thinking what I should do with one of these cat stickers or both of them is put them downstairs where the cats are because they might think it's Boo and maybe it would help them get more used to him and become more accepting of him. These are really cute. I've never seen these before. They're like life size also. I believe these are pet clickers. Now, I've never had a pet clicker, and um, I have seen them in stores, and I've seen people using them, and I almost bought one once, but I, but I didn't at the time. Yeah, oh my gosh, that is so cool. I've wanted one of these. I wonder if I could click train the cats. There's three pet clickers. And I like how they come on like this uh, scrunchie that you could put around your hand. That is really cool. Well, thank you Wagmore for these. This is something also that um, I've looked at in the past, but I just never bought one. Um, now I have some. That is great. Thank you. Oh, this is the Jingo's Ultra Stain Remover and Odor Eliminator. Attacks organic stains and odors, enzyme action converts properties, environmentally and user friendly. Jingo's is a user and environmentally friendly stain and odor remover. Jingo's is effective on blood, vomit, urine, fecal, wine, coffee, grass, and other organic stains. Jingo's eliminates organic odors from vomit, pet accidents, diaper pails, fish cutting boards, trash receptacles, garlic, and more, even skunk odors. <gasps> That's great. Directions. Odor is to eliminate organic odors. Simply spray the source of the odor with Jingo's. Stains. Saturate stain with Jingo's. Let stand three minutes. Blot stain out with cloth or sponge dampened with warm water. Go over a larger area to prevent the appearance of a ring. Repeat if necessary. For best results, treat the stain with Jingo's as soon as possible. Laundry pre-soak. Saturate the stain with Jingo's before washing. Jingo's is most effective using warm water setting on your washing machine. That is great. And then here are the pumps for the bottles. Thank you for the Jingo's because I honestly don't own any stain remover or odor eliminator. And now I do. And what do we have here? It's a Chia Pet. It's a cuddly kitten. Isn't it cute? And that's what it can look like when all the uh, Chia fur grows in. Handmade pottery planter, Chia seed packet for three plantings, convenient plastic drip tray. Grow your cuddly kitten in many different ways. It says soak clay animal in water. Spread water soaked Chia seeds in animal. Fill water hole. Keep full of water. Moist seeds should sprout in three to five days. Watch Chia Pet grow quickly to full coat. Reuse your Chia Pet indefinitely. Simply replant with Chia. Extra seeds included or similar herb seeds such as basil, alfalfa, marjoram, or thyme. Now that is really cool because I did not know you could replant with uh, different herb seeds. So this will be fun to use this winter. And here we have a wheat grass growing kit. Everything you need to grow your own. This is really cool. Um, it says 100% organic seeds, grow your own wheatgrass. Not all wheat is created equal. We have carefully chosen wheat seed with a spectacular germination rate that grows healthy, thick-bladed wheatgrass. And this is Handy Pantry. That's the brand. 
It says it comes with everything you need. Two reusable growing trays, two reusable drain trays, four micro mat hydroponic growing pads, one supply of azomite trace mineral fertilizer, four pounds of organic wheatgrass seed. I was wondering why this was so heavy. It's four pounds of organic wheatgrass seed. One book, Wheatgrass, Sprouts, Microgreens, and the Living Food Diet, Laminated Instruction Sheet. Ingredients, organic, hard, red wheat. So you soak the seeds, prepare a growing bed, spread seeds and cover with moist paper towel, harvest your fresh wheatgrass by cutting just above growing medium, juice wheatgrass, and drink it promptly, or give it to your cats. Thank you so much, Wagmore, for this amazing package of goodies. I really appreciate all of your thoughtfulness that went into selecting all of these items for myself and the cats, and also for that uh, beautiful note that you enclosed. I hope you also have a very happy holiday season. Today is day three on the cats' advent tree. So let's see what they got. Here's their little gift bag. I wonder what's in it. Looks like a can of food. It is a can of food. It is Weruva, Cats in the Kitchen, Splash Dance, Chicken and Ocean Fish Recipe, Au Jus. That's so cute. This cat food is named after Splash. It says grain, starch, and carrageenan free. The ingredients are chicken broth, chicken, boneless, skinless breast, ocean fish, tuna, locust bean gum, sunflower seed oil, guar gum, fish oil, xanthan gum, potassium chloride. Then we go um, into um, vitamin and mineral supplements. And that looks like it. It says cats in the kitchen. Splash dance chicken and ocean fish recipe au jus is formulated to meet nutritional levels established by the AAPCO cat food nutrient profiles for adult maintenance. So the cats will get this as a little appetizer today. Let's see if they like it. This is what it looks like in the can. It is a pate. It is a very soft pate, um, so I cut it into four pieces. This piece I am giving to Stella. This piece I'm giving to Boo. These pieces I'll give to Simma and Splash. Stella is here in the kitchen with me right now, so I'm just going to give her her little portion. Hopefully she'll eat it. Does she like it? Sometimes these cats don't like canned food, but I find that the better quality the canned food is, the higher the chance that they'll eat it. But then again, sometimes Stella just likes licking it. Stella is definitely enjoying it. She keeps looking around like who is going to come by and steal this food from her. Stella, everyone is going to have their own little portion, okay? Right now it is 4.30. They're probably not going to eat until like 7 tonight. So this is her little appetizer. She's looking around to see if Boo or Simba are coming around the hallway. So because they are getting this special appetizer, they won't be getting any additional dry food this evening. If they do, it'll be a very small amount. Want me to hold it? Here. I'll hold it for you.
You're done? Good girl, Stella. Good girl. I just brought Goose portion into him and I dropped it. But thankfully the way it fell is that it like caught itself. Who are you gonna eat your food? This is your advent treat. This is Splash Dance. It's a little pate called Splash Dance. It's chicken and it's fish. It looks like Boo likes it. Boo only ate half of his breakfast. So I will leave this with Boo and let him finish it. Simba's laying on top of the cat tower. Would you like your portion? Do you want it? I don't want your mommy to eat it. You want to eat it? Want me to put it on the floor for you? Simba's not too interested in it. Which is surprising. I guess Simba likes food. Simba, you don't want to eat it? You want me to give it to your brother Splash? Would you like me to give it to Splashy? Would you? Or are you going to eat it? It's special for you, Simba. It's your present today. Today it's your present. It's your appetizer. It's day three of Advent. It's called Splash Dance. It's named after your brother Splash. It's not really named after Splash. I'm just saying that. Come on, Simba. Simba. You don't want to eat your appetizer? Come on, you could eat it. You like treats. Just think of it as one big soft treat. It's one big soft treat, Simba. You don't want it? You're not hungry? You're watching your figure? He sees pictures, still photos. Oh my gosh. These are still images of squirrels. What are you doing, Simba? He's smelling the screen. This cat is so weird sometimes. He would rather smell a TV screen than eat delicious food. Simba did not want to eat his appetizer, so I am going to give it to Splash. If neither of them want to eat it, maybe I'll put it outside for Hydrox. I just gave it to Splash. Is he going to eat it? And now Simba's here. Flash likes it. So I would say three out of four cats approve. Splash, this is called Splash Dance. Isn't that nice? It's your name. Did you know that, Splash? Splash, did you know this food is called Splash Dance? I think it was named after you. Isn't that nice to have food named after you? Yeah? Did you like it? You liked it? Good boy, Splash. Boo. Be a good boy, okay? Keep your feet on the ground. No jumping. No jumping, okay? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It is 8.17 a.m. Normally, where these cat towers are is where I put my Christmas tree. Every year I get a live Christmas tree and I put it right here in front of the windows. 
So if I'm going to do that again this year, that means I need to move these cat towers away or figure out another place to put the Christmas tree. The other issue that I'm having is that I have boxes full of beautiful glass ornaments for my tree. But with the cats, especially since it's their first year with the tree, I don't want to put the glass ornaments on the tree. And that just kills me because I love those glass ornaments. So I would have to use shatterproof ornaments, which I don't think are as nice. The next thing that's going on is that yesterday should have been the day that I bought the tree and put it up because that's the, uh, the time of the year that I normally do. And I didn't have a chance to do that because I've been so caught up with all this cat stuff this year. So everything is all uh, off schedule and out of whack. Good morning, Boo. Eight thirty a.m. Boo's getting his breakfast. He's getting the primal raw chicken and salmon. He's also getting the nature's variety instinct bites. He's getting all of his herbs. I had him off of the herbs uh, for a little while uh, because he was going back for the blood tests and um, now I'm putting him back on. It's good to take a break from um, any kind of supplements um, after you've been on them for a while. Okay, this is the first time in a really long time that I walked into this room and it smells like Boo made a stinky. Boo, you made a stinky. I wonder if it's from, oh my gosh, guys. So yesterday, I gave them that canned treat, uh, that splash dance food. I think we are witnessing the difference in the smell between a raw diet and a canned diet. Man, canned food makes their poop much more stinky. Right, Boo? And he ate half of the can. Because remember, Simba didn't want his. Good morning. Hello, Stella. Hello, Splash. You don't want to come up the steps? Want to hang out down there? It's about 10.15 a.m. right now. I just gave Hydrox a full can of food. This is the Trader Joe's Ocean Fish Salmon and Rice Dinner. Now, I do like the Trader Joe's food better than the Frisky's food. The ingredients are ocean fish broth, ocean fish, salmon, animal liver, chicken brewer, brewer's rice, oat bran, and a bunch of vitamin and mineral supplements. So there's not any fruits or vegetables in here, uh, but there's also no byproducts. So the difference between Friskies and Trader Joe's is Friskies includes meat byproducts or poultry byproducts, and Trader Joe's does not put any byproducts in their food. So um, I prefer um, feeding Trader Joe's over Friskies. 11.17 a.m. I let Boo out of his room because I needed to scoop out all the litter, which I just did and he just came straight in the kitchen to eat the crunchies. He did not eat his breakfast. I guess he was waiting for crunchies. Hydrox is eating his food outside. I know it's hard for the camera to focus right now. Uh, for some reason, it's focusing on the screen instead of Hydrox. But it looks like he just walked out of the heated pet house when I was outside um, dumping the litter in the garbage. When I was walking back, it looked like he was walking out of the heated pet house. Simba is on top of the cat tower in the front window. So that means Boo is out of his room and this is Simba. Hopefully they won't get into any fights or anything but I am here right now I need to do a few things before I leave. Simba is very warm very warm and fluffy. Hello Simba holding my hand Hold my hand. Simba has little paws. He has little tiny paws. Hey guys. You guys gonna play together? Because I need to film today's prize. I don't like when he charges at Simba. But at least when I yell, he stops. But good boy, Simba. You're a good boy. Simba's a good boy.
Boo, if you can't be nice, you can't be out of your room. You got it? Somebody got to watch your background, boo. Okay. I know, it's horrible. I know, it's horrible. I don't know why he's like that. He needs to learn to behave. He needs to learn to behave, right? Come here, boo. Simba? Simba, if you go after him, then you're causing your own problems. You hear me? Hey, be nice. Are you going to be nice? Be nice. Be nice, boo. Be nice. We're going to be nice, okay? Be nice. I got two nice boys here. Two nice boys. Okay? I have two nice boys. Two nice boys. Simba? Be a nice boy. Boo, you don't jump on people. You don't jump on people. Don't jump. Okay, Boo just charged at Simba, but thankfully he didn't attack him or anything. Like, he just charged up to him. Maybe he was playing. I mean, Boo's not hissing now. He's not growling. He's not doing anything. Um, Simba's giving the warning. Boo looks pretty relaxed. Boo, do you want to play? Come here. Want to play with this? I think Boo just wants to play. See? Boo just would rather play. Like, he wants to play with Simba, but Simba doesn't want to play with him. So I think that's what's going on. I don't think Boo really means to attack Simba in a malicious way. I want Boo to just approach him gently. Boo, just be a gentle boy. Okay, I don't know how much of that was caught on camera or not, but uh, Boo lunged at Simba. Simba kind of like uh, screamed and went to scratch him. And they were like a foot apart from each other at the same time. And um, then Boo got scared and Boo went in his room. So I really think Boo wants to play, but he just doesn't know how to go about doing it. And I knew once Stella heard that, she'd want to come upstairs and see what was going on. She's all stressed out right now. 11.48 a.m. Boo's in his room. I gated up the entire door and I just put the undercover mouse on. Boo was playing with it by the door. And uh, Simba ran over, but do you see what just happened? Now Boo came over to the door and Simba ran away. So I'm hoping that by putting this here with the gates up, they will kind of sniff each other out again. I think Simba got spooked by that interaction. Simba's back at the door. Stella's watching from the other room. It is 2 p.m. Simba's sleeping on the bed. For some reason, he likes sleeping on this package of magic markers. I tried to move it and he got mad. He wants to use it as a pillow. So I should only be gone for about three or four hours. I'm actually going to just leave Boo's room like this. I'm going to leave the gates in the doorway. Hopefully the gates will stay in the doorway. They should. Right now, can you see Boo? He is sleeping on the cat tower. He's on the middle tier of the cat tower. Hopefully he'll just be a good boy. It's about 7 p.m. right now. Um, I just got home and I'm unloading my car and here's Hydrox. He actually came to the steps and he was hanging out by the steps. He, he's meeting me there and I guess he wants some food. There's still a little bit of food in the feeder, but maybe he's still hungry. I just brought some food out for Hydrox. This is one of the smaller cans of the uh, Instinct Turkey Pate. And look at Hydrox, he's just sitting there. He's about six feet away from me. Hello, Hydrox! He looks tired. All the inside cats have been sleeping. They look tired, too. Hydrox, eat your food! Hydrox is eating his food. Good boy, Hydrox. Wouldn't it be funny if, like, all this time, Hydrox was actually a girl?
What do you guys think? Is Hydrox a boy or is Hydrox a girl? Hello, Hydrox. The cats are getting their dinner. They are getting one of the Prima Raw turkey nuggets because that was the end of the bag. We're getting the Nature's Variety Instinct Chicken Bites. This was also the end of the bag. I made some gravy with the juices that were left over in the can of turkey pate that I just fed Hydrox outside. So that's why there's a lot of liquid on here. Okay, look at this. Splash is totally letting me pet him. And not, not only is he letting me pet him, but he keeps coming back for more. Splash, you don't want to eat? Do you want to eat? Boo's upstairs, he's making noise. All the cats are on alert. Hello, Boo. How are you today? Were you a good boy? This is Boo's breakfast. I would say he ate about two thirds of it. But he also ate a whole bunch of dry food from the dry food plate in the kitchen. Okay, Boo, so Boo's been in his room all day, but the gates have been in the door. And I took the gates down from the door. The other cats are downstairs now. And I need to go out for a while, so I'm going to leave Boo upstairs here on free room. I'm gonna leave the other cats downstairs, and uh, I'm gonna give him some dinner before I leave. Okay, Boo. It is 10:45 p.m. and um, Boo's on free room. I was eating my dinner, and I noticed Boo wasn't around, so I said, "Where's Boo?" And he's been hanging out in the kitchen. Now this door was shut. And um, I said, if he's hanging out here, who's on the other side? And ended up, Splash was on the other side of the shut door. And I guess they were smelling each other under the door or something like that. So then I said, okay, I'm going to open the door and let me put the gates in. So right now, all three gates are in the door. And there's Simba. And Boo is hanging out here near the gates. And um, I guess he's curious. I guess Simba's curious. I guess they're curious about each other, but Boo has to learn how to interact with other cats without jumping on them. Boo, be a good boy, okay? Keep your feet on the ground, no jumping. No jumping, okay? Nice boys don't jump. Nice boys don't jump on other cats, okay? You don't jump on other cats, they don't like it. You gotta keep your feet on the ground, okay? Keep your feet on the ground. And then Simba will play with you. Simba will play with you if you keep your feet on the ground. Simba will play with you if you don't jump on him, boo. He says, don't jump on him. Okay? That's not how you play. Boo, if you want to play, you got to be nice. You don't jump on cats. You don't jump on cats. Okay? You'll be nice. You don't jump. It is 12.40 a.m. Boo's hanging out in the living room with me. He's just sleeping on the couch right now. And they did not open their advent present for today because I was just too busy and did not have time to do it. So tomorrow they're gonna get two presents. Right, Boo? Boo's tired also. He wants to go to bed. It is 1.15 a.m. We're having a dry food party near the gate. Simba was on the other side and it looked like he was hungry because he heard me put out the raw food for tomorrow. So I wanted to slide him some dry food under the gate, but of course Boo heard me. So Boo's eating the dry food, although there is some space that they could eat it on the other side. See? I put it so they could get it also. They're watching him eat. Okay, now there's three plates. That's the biggest plate I could find. I really only have small plates right now. And Boo's hogging all the food. 
and Stella and Simber and Splash, they're all here. They're just watching him. You guys don't want to eat food? Splash is going to come up and eat some. Still had enough, she's leaving. Splash is following Stella. Oh no. He's halfway up the steps. Simba's looking like, what is going on? Who's like addicted to dry food? I pushed the one small plate down onto the landing. They're sniffing it. Look at that, he just pulled the plate back under. Do you see that splash? See what he did? Boo's a very smart cat. They're all very smart cats. Okay, splash. Okay. You can eat the crunchies, there's some crunchies on your side. Do you see them? They look like little dried fish. Heads, tails, everything. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. 7.30 a.m. Simba, what's the matter? All the ears banging on the gate. Simba, come on. Once again, I was up until after 2 a.m. And all I want to do is get a little bit more sleep right now. But Simba's banging on the gates. It's okay, Boo, come on. Simba, I'm sorry. Is Boo trying to climb the gate? Or are you trying to climb the gate? I just heard someone climb and then land on the floor. Was it you? Or was it Boo? Hmm? Who was it? Was it you, or was it Boo? 8.34 a.m. Boo's in the living room, hanging out by the arches and the scratch and rolls. This is like one of Boo's favorite things. He walks through this arch. He lays down in the scratch and rolls. 
and he brushes himself with the other arch. This entire rug is just like one cat playground. Here's Stella and Simba. And all the dry food has been eaten. All of it. Hey Stella. Hey Simba. Come on, say hello Boo. Come here. Boo's right here. Come on Boo. Say hello. Say hello. He doesn't want to say hello. Stella and Simba. We're going to eat, okay? Give me a minute. Give me a minute, and then we'll eat. They're smelling my finger. Okay, give me a minute. Boo ate all of his dinner last night. All of it. Today, he is only getting the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Chicken Bites with his herbs and some water. Boo is just at the gate, and the two of them seem to back away a little bit when he's at the gate. But after the past few days where Boo has been, you know, jumping on Simba, I think more gate training is needed. Okay guys, you just missed it, but I'm going to document it right here because um, I did not want to bring the camera out and spook him. But just right here, Splash let me pet him uh, for a really long time and he discovered that when I pet his cheeks, it feels really good. Like, you know, you pet a cat's jaw. Yeah, well, he, uh, fell in love with that. The cats are also getting the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Chicken Bites today. They are getting the multi-essential herbal drops. They're also getting the adrenal formula and they're getting some water. And I have to say, Splash let me pet him more this morning than ever. Like I pet him more this morning than I've ever been able to pet him in a morning. So, um, Splash is starting to come out of shell a little bit, which is good. 9.42 a.m. Simba is sleeping in the cat tower in the front window. He's looking very fluffy while he sleeps there. Splash is watching the neighbors out of the side window. But now he's looking at me. Hey, Splash! Boo is laying on the middle tier of his cat tower. He very recently discovered that he can lay in that cat tower. He loves that tier because he can see out of the window really well from there. Hi, Boo. And this is where Stella should be. This is another little cat perch in the dining room. But where's Stella? Here's Stella. Stella's in the basement. She's on top of the cat tower looking out the window from the top of the cat tower. Hey, Stella. I want to talk about this cat tower for a minute. Stella used to love ascending this cat tower by um, this little walkway, like that little staircase up. And then she would go up, and then she would go up to the top. And she used to love descending this cat tower coming down by uh, walking down all the various levels, including that little staircase. That's how she used to go up and down this cat tower. And then someone left a not so nice comment about Stella using that little staircase because she had bad joints or something like that. And Stella got really offended by it. And now she never uses that little staircase. Now she always makes it a point to jump. And that is why sometimes I make sure people do not spread fear or negativity or anything like that in the comments because whether people realize it or not it puts out subtle energies that the cats pick up right Stella yeah you don't like it when people say not so nice things about you because don't forget cats are psychic cats don't communicate with language the way we communicate cats communicate with thoughts and feelings and what we would consider extrasensory sensitivities, but all that means is in a way beyond the five physical senses. So Stella 
It's okay. You could use the little staircase. I know you like the staircase. And it does not mean you have bad joints if you use the staircase. Okay? You could use the staircase. It's not, it does not mean you have bad joints. It means you're a pretty girl. Because pretty girls use the staircase. Right, Stella? Yeah. You could use the staircase. Pretty girls use the staircase. But you could also jump because pretty girls jump. But I don't want you to feel like you can't use the staircase because if you use the staircase then it means you have bad joints because we know you don't have bad joints. You're a very healthy girl. Right, Stella? You're an athlete. You're a hunter. You're a warrior. Yeah, that's right, Stella. You are a conqueror. You're a brave girl. You don't want me to pet you? Because then you would look to... Whoop. Whoop. They ate all of their breakfast. They gobbled out the food. I just gave Stella some secret crunchies. I did it as quietly as I could. So the other cats were not here. Now Stella's in a very good mood. Right, Stella? Right, Stella? 10.23 a.m. I'm just about to go outside and give Hydrox his food. And no joke, there was like 20 or 30 birds just like all over here on the patio eating something. I don't know what they're eating, but um, they found the food. Yesterday I looked outside and they were actually eating the wet food out of this kitty cafe. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe the birds are eating wet cat food. So um, that's what they do. They're eating the wet cat food. They're also eating the dry cat food. And um, yeah, these are some well-fed birds. I hope Hydrox is getting some of the food. Look. 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 Do you see it? Look. They're going for the food. They're they're going to the dry food, so they figured it out. I just gave Hydrox a full can of Trader Joe's chicken, turkey, and rice dinner. Ingredients, chicken broth, chicken, turkey, ocean fish, animal liver, brewer's rice, oat bran, fish protein concentrate, then a whole bunch of vitamins and minerals. So again, while there are no fruits or vegetables in this food at all, the ingredients are very clean, there's no byproducts, and it's pretty much just pure, pure protein with some brewer's rice and oat bran. Okay, so Simba was hanging out here in the hallway, right outside Boo's door, and he was just kind of staring at Boo through the gate. And Boo was looking out the window, and then Boo came down to see what was going on when he saw me. And here's what I realized. Hello, Simba. I have not properly introduced the cats. Come here, Simba. Simba, come here. I want to introduce you to Boo. Come here, Simba. Simba's like rubbing up against the hall. See them? Yeah, see? Come here, Simba. Come here, I want to introduce you to Boo. Right here. Come sit next to me. Come here. Come here. Okay, good boy, Simba. Simba, this is Boo. Boo is your daddy. I don't know if you remember Boo, but he helped raise you. He protected both you and Splash when you were tiny little kittens. Him and your mama, Stella, yeah. I used to see them all the time when uh, you were tiny, tiny babies. Both him and Stella helped you and Splash grow up. And uh, you guys used to eat dinner and breakfast with him outside. You remember on the party platter? That's the same Boo. Yeah, that's Boo. That's your daddy Boo. Okay? Boo, I want you to meet Simba. Simba was that little tiny kitten that you helped raise with Stella, remember? Remember the little tiny kittens? This was the little tiny kitten. Simba was the little tiny kitten with Splash and his, remember his brother Splash? 
with your girlfriend Stella. You used to protect them. Boo, you, you protected them and you used to hunt for food for them and you helped raise them. This is Simba, it's, he's all grown up. You might not recognize him, Boo. In case you don't recognize him, this is Simba. This was that little tiny kitten. Remember the little baby kitten? That's Simba. Okay, Simba, I want you to meet Boo. That's your daddy. Boo, I want you to meet Simba. That's your son. He looks different because he's all big and grown up right now. He was a little baby when you saw him last time. He was like a teenager. But now he's a grown man. And Simba, don't you recognize your daddy? He's put on a little bit of weight. His ear got clipped. And uh, he has a scar in his nose. But he's still your daddy. Okay, guys? Are you guys going to be nice to each other now that you've been properly introduced? I think you should be. Okay. Do you guys remember who you are? Remember who you are, okay? You guys are family. I know, Simba. Family doesn't jump on family. Remember, Boo? You don't jump on them, okay? Simba, go give him a kiss. Yeah, go kiss him. Go kiss him. Go rub noses with him. You can do that. You're protected by the gate. Go say hello, Simba. He wants to say hello to you. He wants to apologize for jumping on you. Do you accept his apology? You're gonna think about it? Go say hello to Boo. Say hello. Hello, Boo. Remember, you're responsible for your sons. He's just bigger. Hello, Simba. Simba almost blends into this rug also. How are you, Simba? Can say hello to your daddy? Honestly, I think it's good if they just hung out like this for a while. I would be totally happy if they just like chilled out like this for like hours. So um, now that I've made the proper introduction, I am going to finish getting my cup of tea. Look at what's going on with the cat food. There are a bunch of birds out there having a feast and most of them just flew away because they hear me. But I mean, they were making a big racket. I was like, where's all this bird noise coming from? They're all eating the food. Who wants to eat some food? I can't feed you guys if someone's blocking the steps. Simba, you're blocking the steps. How am I supposed to go downstairs? Squeeze over here. Squeeze over here. He does this. I have to do like one side, the other side. Which way? Which way are you going, Simba? You guys hungry? Are you guys hungry? Want to eat? You hungry, Splish? You said I'm hungry. I'm hungry, right? Want dinner, Stella? Stella loves the groomer. She loves it. Oh, Stella. That was a big yawn. You guys are tired? What'd you do today? You slept. Took a nap. But you know, today is one of those rainy days. It's cold and it's rainy. You just don't really feel like doing anything. Six fifty-three p.m. 
Boo is getting one of the Primal Raw Turkey Nuggets, quarter cup of the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Bites, and his herbal supplements. Boo ate most of his breakfast. He left a few of the Raw Bites. Hello, Boo. Boo, did you have a nice day? Did you? What'd you do? Took a nap? Took a nap? Okay, today we get to open two presents because we did not open a present yesterday. Today we are doing day four and day five on the cat's advent tree. Okay, first let's do day four. What did the cats get? Boo, what'd you get? Come here, Boo, what'd you get? He wants to rub in his arch. Boo, what'd you get? It's day four in the advent calendar. What did you get? Let's see what he got. Look, he's laying down. He wants to see. What'd you get, Boo? What'd you get? Wanna open it? You gonna open it? No? But you wanna see what's in it? It feels like toys. What is it, Boo? Look. What is it, Boo? Look. Soccer balls. Okay, he wants the blue one. For some reason, these cats always go to the blue ones first. They always want blue first. I'm gonna put these away for the downstairs cats. I'll let Boo have the blue one. Boo, ready? Ready to play? Ready? He scored a goal. Did you see that? It went right through the arch. Oh my gosh, look guys, the arches are gonna be like cat goalposts. They're gonna play soccer. Ready? Oh, got another goal. Boo scored another goal. These are spot sponge soccer balls. I hear someone climbing the gate between the kitchen and the downstairs. Who is it, who is it? Who's climbing the gate? Simba. Part of me feels bad that I had to put these gates up, but another part of me thinks it's good exercise for Simba to climb the gates. If I look at it positively, I just say Simba's getting good exercise. This is the bag for day five, which is today. So um, when we open this bag, we will then be caught up. It's in here. Boo, what do we got? What do we got, Boo? You gonna watch from there? Okay. We have cat treats. These are Simply Nourish, freeze-dried, 100% minnow. It says carefully sourced real minnow cat treats, free of grain and gluten. Ingredients, minnow. For some reason, this is kind of grossing me out right now, but let's open this and see if the cats like them. This is what they look like, and I can smell them from where my nose is, like a foot away. Wow, these are strong. Wanna eat it? Do you like it? Okay, Boo likes it. It's it's Boo approved. Boo approved. One more. Here. Be nice. Be nice. You don't scratch for treats. Boo loves it. Okay, a few more. I'm trying not to look at the treats. I'm trying to just give it to him without knowing what my hand is touching. Do you see them? They look like little dried fish. Heads, tails, everything. Okay, that's it. I don't want you getting sick from too much. Okay, I'm downstairs with the other cats. Come on, guys. There's Simba. He tried to jump the gate as I was 
taking the gates off the door. I basically caught him. Here's Stella. Here's Stella. The splash. Come on guys, let's open our advent present from yesterday. Right? We're gonna open our present from yesterday. What do we get, guys? What do we get? Look. What are they? What'd you get? They're soccer balls. Submit should like these. Stella doesn't really care. Simba, don't you want to play? I'll give the pink one to Stella. Simba. Splash, want to play? Ready? He caught it. Let's play again. Ready? Let's see. Are you a good fielder? Come on. And this is your present for today, Stella. What is it? Do you want it? Are we going to eat it? This will give you a better idea of what they look like. They look like little dried fish. Simba should eat it. Stella just ate it. Okay, these freeze-dried minnows are a much bigger success than the freeze-dried ocean whitefish the other day. Splash, you want some? Move over, Simba. Simba, move over. Let him eat his treats. You had yours. Simba, you had your treats. Come on. Simba. 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 Come here, Splash. Here. This is what a Western blot test looks like. It tests for various proteins and which proteins are reactive. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Tonight the cats are on free roam and Boo has gates in his door. So his door's open but the three gates are there. And I'm hearing like all this growling noise. Like, what the heck is going on? Splash is just laying in the hallway, growling. It is 8.15 a.m. Splash is sitting in the hall outside of Boo's room, growling. He's been there for a while. He was there last night when I went to bed. But then he moved away. And now he's back today. Boo is in his room, probably sitting about five feet away from the door. Just like a little Boo loaf, just looking at Splash. Simba is on top of his cat tower. Good morning, Stella. When I went to bed, Stella was sleeping on one of the dining room chairs. She hasn't slept on the dining room chairs in such a long time. Yesterday was the first night that the cats were on free roam and Boo's door was left open. I mean, all the gates were in Boo's door, but his door was left open. And I think that's something that I need to do more often. Now, there were nights when the gates were in the door between the upstairs or downstairs. And um, you can see in previous videos where Stella and Simba were by the gates and you know, in the morning they wanted to come up and stuff. So this was a little different because they had free room in the house and the gates were on Boo's door. And they're all adjusting to that right now. 
Whereas when the gates were between the upstairs and the downstairs, I feel like for these three cats, there wasn't as much adjustment going on. So um, this is definitely another experiment that I want to do and just at night, maybe every other night, put the gates in Boo's door um, and just let the cats deal with that. I mean, Splash is dealing with that right now. We saw him growling at the door. Guys, Stella's tail just got all big. What the heck is going on, Stella? Like, normally that happens to cats when they're afraid. Stella's tail is huge today. Do you guys see how big it is? Stella, your tail's so big today. Are you afraid of something? There's nobody down here to be afraid of. You afraid of Boo? Now it's like going back to normal. Are you gonna play? This morning, Stella had about four drops of rescue remedy. Splash had two drops of rescue remedy, two drops of adrenal formula. Simba hasn't had any herbs. And now I'm going to give them their breakfast, which is the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Bites. I gave them little appetizers, which were just a few of these nuggets with the herbs on them. Um, Stella wolfed down the ones with the rescue remedy. Uh, Splash ate uh, both of them. Good morning, Boo. How are you today? Boo ate all of his food from last night. Boo and I were playing with the feather toys last night for a while. Hello. I'm gonna try to play with them for a little while before I give them food. I try to play with the downstairs cats a little while before they eat, and um, they never wanna play. They just wanna eat. Okay. Who's playing like a crazy man with the soccer ball this morning? Crazy soccer player boo? Soccer player boo? It is about 11.30 a.m. I just went outside and gave Hijack some food. Gave him a whole can of the Friskies poultry platter and came inside. No sooner did I do that than a bunch of birds descended on the food. Here's some of them now having a great time eating the cat food. I haven't seen Hydrox this morning. Um, I don't know where he is. It is kind of cold out. Maybe he's in one of the shelters. Right now I'm taking a few minutes and I'm giving them treats by the door. Boo's been eating treats over here. Sim has been eating treats over there. And everything has been going well. Did you eat it? Boo, you gotta chew it. Splash just came up the steps. I don't know how long he's been there, but he's... I don't know if you could see him. Can you see him? He's just a few steps away from Simba. Probably on some treats, but the treats are not going to get past Simba unless Splash comes up here. Splash, you want some treats? Who's being a good boy? Everybody's being a good boy today. I got three good boys here, right? Three very good boys. The 
sounds like Stella's downstairs in the litter box, which just reminds me that I need to scoop out the litter today. What these cats need to be able to do is just hang out with each other, doing nothing, like without playing or eating or anything, just coexisting. And um, when they could do that better, I think that would be good a good thing. Like if Boo just kind of sat down here or lay down here and Simba did the same on the other side, and then they just kind of hung out together. I think that would be good. Right, Simba? Like from here, they could both look out the back door. The back door, the window's open, like they could see out. So they could easily both just hang out here and look out the back door together, right? They've had enough treats. Okay, I got good boys today, right? Everyone's a good boy today. Oh, I think there's one of those dried fish minnow treats still in the gate from last night. It's probably what Simma smells. 11.46 a.m. I just looked out the window and Hydrox is eating food. I give him plenty of food because lately I have not been able to get back before it gets dark. So I give him a whole can now. I figure he has the dry food in the feeder and that goes off in the morning at like 7 a.m. So he has plenty of dry food to eat. And then right now, kind of like late morning, like around 11 a.m., I've been giving him a full can of food. So I figure he could eat as much as he wants. Whatever he doesn't finish now, he could munch on in the afternoon and he should be good for the day. Um, hopefully the birds are not eating too much of it, but we'll see. I mean, it doesn't look like Hydrox is starving by any means and he could easily supplement his diet by hunting in the woods. So Stella's been at the gate and Splash is here and Boo was just here and they were all eating treats together very peacefully and nice. Right, Boo? Boo's had a lot of treats because he ate treats with Simba and now he's eating treats with Stella. Okay? Hello. They're all eating their treats. See how nicely they're all eating together. Oh, here comes the thief. The thief. Who's growling? Who's growling? I don't know who was growling. I think Stella's growling. Stella! Nice boy, Boo. Boo, the camera's mine, not yours. Boo tried to keep me away from the camera. Okay, Boo, you've had enough treats. Okay, guys. I want everyone to hang out here and look out the window together, okay? Okay, you guys missed it because I can't keep the camera on 24-7 and I was making myself a cup of tea. But Boo and Simba just smelled each other's noses through the gate which in my mind is always a good sign that they were able to do that. I'm trying to edit today's giveaway video and Boo has decided that he needs to be petted. Right, Boo? He's decided he wants to sit down next to me and he needs some petting. Okay, Boo. So the video is going to be a little late today. Okay?
It is 5.10 p.m. and I finally got the vet on the phone to get Boo's FIV Western blot test results. Um, she said the test came out positive and I said, can you give me um, more specifics? This is what a Western blot test looks like. It tests for various proteins and which proteins are reactive. So as you can see here, columns one and two are the positive and negative controls. So column one is what a positive test result looks like. Column two is what a negative test result looks like. Column B shows what an indeterminate result looks like because it only has like two very slight positives on it. And then column C shows what a positive result would look like and then it shows which proteins were reactive. So I asked the vet if she would be able to tell me which proteins were reactive on his Western blot test. And she told me that the lab did not provide that information. The lab only provided a negative or a positive. So then I was just explaining to her that I thought it would be useful for a variety of different reasons. So she said she is going to contact the lab, see if she could get more specifics as far as the results. And if she does, she would get back to me and uh, she'd get back to me and let me know if they can't give specifics or if they can give specifics. So that is my update on Boo's Western blot. Today is day six on the cat's advent tree. Here is day six. It's a little bit heavy, I wonder what they got. Here's the bag. Let's open the bag and see what it is. It's a can of food. This is grandma's chicken soup, grain and gluten free, with chicken and pumpkin. It says super luxe cat food. That looks really interesting. Let's look at some of the ingredients. We have chicken, boneless, skinless, breast, water sufficient for processing, pumpkin, carrot, pea, tapioca starch, sunflower seed oil, dicalcium phosphate, xanthan gum, calcium chloride, and then we go into a bunch of vitamins and minerals, and then that is it. So those look like some pretty awesome ingredients. I love the pumpkin, carrot, and peas. So this will be the cat's appetizer today. Let's see if they like it. Simba, you want some of grandma's chicken soup? Do you? This is what grandma's chicken soup looks like. It actually looks like chicken soup. So this is going to be interesting. I need to split this up four ways for the cats. So this is what I've done. I've put some on their platter. Three little servings. Let's see if they eat it. Okay, you guys hungry? Eat your chicken soup. Stella's eating it. Simba's eating it. Splash is watching from like five feet away. Stella's eating splashes because he waited too long. 
He waited too long. Right now Simba's eating Stella's. Poor Splash. Splash missed out. Go ahead, Splash. Eat it. Eat it. It's yours. Splash, that's your portion. Do it. Eat it. Don't let your mother eat it all on you. You eat it, Splash. Be a good boy. Stella, let Splash eat his piece. Go, Splash. Do it. It's yours. Go get it. Move her away. Smack her on the head. Good boy, Splash. Claim what's yours. See the little pea on the ground there, Stella? Are they gonna eat it? Of course they will eat it. Stella? Stella? That's Splash's portion. Splash, eat your food. Eat it fast before Stella eats it. Stella says she's making up for all that time where she used to get food and give it to the kittens and not eat herself. She's making up for all that lost time. Okay. I would say that they really like grandma's chicken soup. They really lick this clean. Okay, now they're getting their primal raw nuggets, their nature's variety instinct raw nuggets, and I should also tell you that in their appetizer today, um, each portion had two drops of rescue remedy and one drop of the adrenal formula. So uh, Stella and Simba both got herbs and Splash got a little bit. There you go, Stella. There you go, Splashy. You could eat. You could eat your food. This is good for Splash. He lets me pet him a lot now. A lot more than he used to. Right? This is Boo's portion of Grandma's chicken soup. Hello, Boo. Boo. Here, yeah, chicken soup. Come on. Want to eat it? Hello, Boo. Okay, so that's Boo's appetizer. I don't know if he's going to eat it. Hello, Boo. Hello, Boop. I have to scoop the litter. Boo, eat your appetizer. It's soup. Do you want your soup? Would you like to eat some soup? Want to eat soup? No? I know you'd rather have your crunchies, right? Boo is getting the same thing that the downstairs cats got. Uh, the primal raw, the instinct raw is also getting his herbs and he is getting some spring water with that. He just ate the crunchies that were left over on the community crunchy plate. I just put his food down on the rug and now he's eating the chicken soup. He never wants to eat unless he has a few crunchies first. That could be from when he was living outside and the automatic feeder dispensed crunchies because he would have always eaten crunchies first from the feeder and then his wet food. It looks like he's enjoying chicken soup also. I just put the undercover mouse here near the gates in the door between upstairs and downstairs and both Stella and Simba ran up the stairs as soon as they heard it. I don't know if you can see Stella. She's in the corner. Now, 
I don't know how long the batteries are going to last on this because the batteries are like so dead. And all the replacement batteries are downstairs. Right now it's on slow. Oh, it broke itself. I have no idea where Boo is. Boo is standing a few feet behind me. <laughs> 